coming up on this episode of The Brain Drain Show. We are joined by MBE James Rolfo and his mate John. Because <laughs> you do breaking into houses and stuff, don't you? Like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you survived the plane crash. I do fully think that aliens are real. Ghosts, I'm not too sure about. Last time I was here, you were phoning up Ashton Kutcher. How did you get his phone number? I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> I went for a wee with Kanye. Kanye walks out of a cubicle. I open the door and he like follows me out and like I hold the door for Kanye. I've got Jason Lee with me. I hope that's okay. I didn't die. I stopped breathing, I guess, for long enough that it was like, it was acknowledged. It's 100% true, is it? Somewhat funded by... By Ed Sheeran. By Ed, by Ed Sheeran, Sheeran. Yeah. He is trying to snap my foot back, basically. My foot just goes boing back into play. When you said the flag was up, he's like, he's always talking about having an <laughs> shit, isn't he? <laughs> I did get <laughs> She's dead! Don't get in trouble for this <laughs> <laughs> My name's James Threlfall. My name's John Owlett. And, and you've, you've been, been watching, watching The Brain, Brain Drain, Drain Show. Show. All right, good morning. My name is Ford, joined to my left with my trusty co-host. Toby. Toby what? What's your full name, Toby? Come on, we're a couple of episodes <coughs> in, just stop saying Toby. Toby Richard Bachelor. Toby, that's why you got, is that why I call you sausage fingers? Because you've got a little Richmond what sausage was, fingers. Wisdom was grabbing my hands the other day going, Because they feel like they're made out of plasticine. Hand. Yeah, but what's, how? Give me no. a hand. They're like little fat Richmond sausages and you touch them and they're like Play-Doh. Oh, they feel no. like Play-Doh. <laughs> Not even good sausages. Oh, no. <laughs> They're just not even good sausages, are they? All right, before we get into sausage talk, let's introduce the guests. Do you want to introduce the two guests over here to the left, Richmond? Oh, God. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the worst sausages, aren't they, Richmond ones? What's Pro your favourite sausage? From a budget. Before we get into this, we've started calling Toby Teabag as well. Fraser we? told me to call yeah. him Teabag, yeah. yeah. Oh, Since when? <laughs> when you went on already, holiday. Yeah. There was already a Teabag. That's the Scottish skater. Yeah, but no, you're no, not. No, no, no. This isn't Scott. You, because you reminded the guy of prison break. Oh. oh my god, yeah! Oh my god! Empty my pocket and make you kick, like, hold on to it. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Wow. Okay. Toby. Right. Do you want to introduce Yes, I'm trying have to. You, have please. you not seen this guy? No. Can you no. have a very quick no. Google? Oh, fucking go on. Let me see the I'll, fucking. I'll, you carry right, on let's chill a minute. We're trying to start the episode here, but there's all chaos in the uh, in the studio audience. <laughs> the studio audience is going crazy over here. Yeah, that's, uh, right. we do have a studio audience today. We actually do. We have mm. a studio audience. But anyway. Kickstart it, come on. Who we got to the left here, To Toby? our left, we have uh, Mr. Showbiz. Wait. James Trowful. And, and his stunt double, <laughs> John Howlett. Right, the applause looking, in the studio. The version. version. It's a pleasure to have you. Thanks for coming, guys. Today, um, how long have you two known each other? I don't actually know, you know. Was that when you first started getting into stunts and you didn't want to like ruin your... This was it, yeah. And I was like, do you know he looks a bit like me? Yeah. Howlett. Let's go. Better skateboarder, better looking. Let's just draft him in. He's like the evil version of you because his hair's the opposite way to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> shit, I didn't notice that, yeah. <laughs> like, good and evil. I don't know when we met, man. It must have been years ago because of, like, contests and stuff. sure we've tried to explain this to so many people yeah. and we're not even sure ourselves. Yeah. Is it just um, one of those things where you two are around skating for that long? It's just... I think so. And a lot of the same stuff. And I think it always talked. And then, like, I was... So the thing that we ended up getting closer together. Um, my mate Matt Trees, shout out Matt Trees. Um, Matt we, Matt Trees. Is he named after a furniture bed store? No, get this right, I'm gonna go off on a tangent. Matt this is well crazy, he's getting there early. Um, but Matt wanted to But with to a skate. French abbreviation, Matt <laughs> Yes, exactly. Nice. Uh, now he wanted, Matt wanted to skate NAS one year, right? Yeah. Um, and the only thing he could get in for was the Burke contest. He actually, he skates transition mm. pretty good, so it's like, cool, we can get you in there. Um, the guys didn't know who he was though. So he rocks up and they're like, oh, what's your name? He's like, oh, Matt Trees. But like, obviously just in passing, runs back up the ramp and they're like, cool, okay, contest about to start. And they're like, have we got Tom Mattress? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was crying. He had no idea that they were talking about him. Um, but yeah, so they were, they were announcing it was Tom Mattress the whole time I was pointing him like, they're talking about you. Where man. did the Tom bit come from? If I don't said. know. And maybe he's like, I'm Mattress, like Tom Mattress. I don't know. It, Tom yeah. Mattress. Yeah, maybe it was, was so quick name. as he was passing. Like, What's your who, name, Tom Mattress? <laughs> but who's also called Tom, who, whose last name is Mattress? Do you know what I mean? Just to go. I don't know. Yeah, it sounds weird. Names. Sound seems mm. legit. Um, but we were gonna judge. we were gonna go back to LA and we were like, oh, want someone to come and join. Because we we'd gone with mm. Aaron Jago, um, who we were just talking about. Um Brute skateboarder, I've loved his uh, skate. <laughs> <laughs> I especially like it when he turns up to a park and he just 
does the back 270 lips down rails in front Yeah, like yeah. I heard somehow that you did that at the Baker Boys. Yeah. Uh, they, yeah Unbelievable, isn't it? Is that that does These... look like Toby. Does it? This... Yeah, look. 100%. When Toby put, gives put you that look after on. the show's put finished. Put a baseball hat on. Grow out, grow out the little soul patch bit and that's you. That does look like you quite a lot. It does. Toby Teabag Bachelor. Toby Richmond. <laughs> <laughs> Richmond Teabag. All right, what's your favourite sausage then? Let's get that out of the way. No, they were telling us a story. Oh, about we were literally yeah. mid-story. Oh, it's gone. Unbelievable. <laughs> what's your um, favourite sausage? Um, Toby, let it go. We'll get onto that in a sec. Okay. Because I feel like this is the most boring story that's taken about 10 minutes. Yeah, it's um, a cool story, bro. But Jago was going to come with us and then couldn't. Uh -huh. And then Howler is always posting about America because it's like your favourite place. You go there quite the a world, bit, don't you? have just been there, haven't you? Yeah. You were there like the other week, haven't you? I try and go out once a year. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, what, it's what, what's your Done twice. What's your fascination with the US of A? The level of skating is just fucking insane. Yeah, but you go to their family holidays. Dude, yeah, it, no, goes, it goes to like American such sport, small though. details, yeah. like sports. Because um, you're a big sports guy. You right? love all as of the American sports. As messed up as the man. country is politically, they do a hell of a lot of things right. Mm. Oh, here we go. This here is we go. This is oh, going to be right. Go on, what do they do right? Like oh, traffic yeah. here. Yeah. Absolute nightmare. Lorries nah. can't. Lorries can't do more than sixty mile an hour. Sixty five. Yeah. There you've got cars. Uh, lorries when blasting past. They're like eighty miles an hour. It's insane. I don't know that that's They're literally safe. inside lane all the time. But not you know what, anybody. But then, but then the problem is, man, like LA, they go like, oh, we've got loads of traffic. Let's put seven lanes in. Yeah. That's but, amazing. No, it's not. Because <laughs> then you go, you get people that go, oh, there's my junction. I'm like this lane. I need to travel like seven lanes to get off. Yeah, but you don't you, have if, overtake but lanes. But have you noticed that at the same time, you're in the midst of that madness on the freeways of seven lanes. But everyone's doing it, it fine. Everyone's driving fine. Same with New York as yeah. well. No, but when Our it's taxi, so it was such an eye opener that the taxis are just like, and everything Everyone's works. doing it fine until they're not though. Because in LA, they always say like about, you know, just don't have a nice car in LA. Because it will just get, someone's going to drive yeah, into it. Someone might and like someone you. I know was saying they would literally in the like car park of a shop, like they'd just gone to do their like groceries or whatever. And someone literally, as they were walking back to the car, drove into their car and just like reversed back into their car and then just started driving off. And she's like, what are you doing? Like, you've literally just driven into my car. She had to get in her car and chase them. And it's like, oh yeah, people just drive into your cars in LA. So, they... It's all right, because here you'll just sit in hours of traffic. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know yeah, I mean? but you do there as well. Amazing. You do there as well. I've, I've Wait, actually what, never dude, sat in LA traffic in the States. literally the worst for traffic. I've, I've never drove... sat in traffic in the States. I drove no, go to LA and you will sit in so yeah, much LA traffic. Yeah, LA you do a little and... bit. Yeah. yeah, it's horrific. Someone I know out there was posting the other day that like someone had had a, cr a crash on the I-10 and like literally it was an hour's standstill traffic through the middle of LA. One crash, that's it, main road gone. See what else way. do you like about America though? <laughs> <laughs> no Richmond sausages? Get to a right hand turn. Yeah. Don't have to wait for the traffic lights to turn green. You just turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that was your so. common sense. <laughs> common sense prevails. That was another. You look, oh, it's clear. Do you know what? I can turn. Yeah. That Here, or, unless oh, you no, have you a have sign to be saying, instructed. Unless you have a, t a sign nah, saying, now you still turn. No right turn on red. Now nah, you still turn. No, that, no, no, one, no one pays attention. That's insane. That, that was like an eye opener as well because, like, from a pedestrian point of view, you're getting ready to cross the road, but the right turn can still turn right. Yeah. But if there's a pedestrian there, they'll stop. But otherwise, they'll just really continue. It's... They'll just continue if the tr even if the light is on a red. If you engage, if you, it makes you turn this on, here we're sort of programmed to sort of be like, I've said it red for light, years. I've got to stop. American number one. This, I need to do this. There you sort of go, right, mm. okay, I'm going to use my common sense and just function like I should. Which is weird because not a lot of Americans have common sense. Uh, I just wanted to say it to get under your skin. I think they do. They just say crazy shit. They just yeah. say crazy shit. They're, they're down for whatever. Mm. But well, they're well, also enthusiastic, so you can't really complain about... Oh, that would really annoy like me. Like here, you sit on the tube, you everyone ignores me. you. There, <laughs> yeah. you, you're like wherever. I, I remember being in LA in a uh, thrift store. Someone hears that I'm English. Is that a charity shop? Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> someone hears my English accent, starts a full-blown conversation about Brexit. Yeah. Literally in the middle of a charity yeah. shop. Don't give us your views on Brexit. This is not the time or the place. Yeah. Well. They, oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but do you know what I mean? Like, even being an introvert, hmm. there you're kind of 
thrust into sort of an extrovert. Forced into it. Yeah. It sounds painful. Which is I'm quite nice, going. actually. I'm out. I'm not going. <laughs> Do you want to know what was quite interesting? We were going to go. We were going to go. We were going to go. What but it happened? just looked, it, well, it just was going to end up being far too expensive. No, okay. Because it's not really <laughs> not that expensive. Do you want to, to, you want to know the, the way States. this started? Was we were talking about going. To tell and you it was like Trump. a couple of us. And then it was like all of a sudden Toby's like, I think I've got like 10 people that it are It wasn't up for 10 this. people. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. And then Toby comes back and goes, we needed actually, this is quite expensive now. So like, probably because you've invited a coach load of people to probably, go to LA. Listen, when we go places, we need a media team. It's not that expensive. If we're going there, you we're are got, the we, media need, team. we need content. You are the James, media team. James, you know team. about content. Yeah. You know how important to make so content I've, is. So I've only just started going to the States yeah. recently as of like a year or two ago. And Mike downstairs, I was saying to Mike, I always thought that traveling to the States and flying would be really expensive. Yeah. And he said, the reason you thought that is because public transport is so expensive here. that yeah. If you're paying a hundred quid for a train to get to London, you're going to think flying is extortionate, but you can... Uh, Last time I went to Boston, four hundred and thirty pounds. Prices haven't increased either. One way, and it's no, that. No, they have. It's that. Oh, every I don't know. They have pre-COVID. Like you could fly with luggage to. You don't pay for flights. You get flown all around the world. You <laughs> fucking Literally, princess. Dude, so that's fine. <laughs> um, princess. <Apple. laughs> um, yeah, pre-COVID, we were doing LA for like three hundred return with luggage. What? When we went last time, it was five hundred and something. I use my MRs. I think that just depends. <laughs> oh, so who's the fancy one now using their MRs? And you gave yourself extra leg room. Yeah. Props to you. Well, you need yeah, that shit. Extra, if you're going to sit on a plane for 10 hours, I want to be comfortable. Yeah. Nah. And it was amazing. Uh, I, yeah. Well, she was sending me photos of your, like, I mean, you got a massive long... body in, like, it was not bad, massive wasn't it? it was pretty room. bad. Yeah. How are you with flying, both of you? Are you both okay with flying? Not... Yeah. Uh, I was good. Until I flew out this time. Why? What happened? Oh, I had a well, little moment. There. I had a little moment sleeping where I had a bad dream about the plane. Oh no! What happened? Going down. Yeah, about it going down. Um, and it fully hit the ground. Mm. I've never had that before, wow. where you've actually hit the ground. But I've also not had a dream where you've fallen for a long time. Yeah. And Did you this, do the thing though? A in little front like, of everyone, where you went. <laughs> I think I did that when it hit, yeah. and, but it sort of carried on. And then it was sort of like a bit of a survival or survivalist story. Do you, <laughs> like know, um... you wake up really like ready to go. <laughs> you <laughs> You're the lone survivor. Like there, like Rambo. Like... Yeah, wow. <laughs> I was get... born for like a good three months. Like... You yeah. survived a plane crash. Wow, well done, mate. In nothing if that's a, one word, I that's think a sound bite you. for you there, Fraser. You survived the plane crash. <laughs> um, do you know that? Do you ever have that thing where you fall asleep and then you suddenly go, Ugh, and you wake up? Yeah. Like you have that. I've done thing. that on planes so many times. That's... Like sat next to people as well. I'm like. But sorry. not when you're dreaming. You just. It's, apparently, it's when your heart misses a beat. It's when your body is relaxing down. It misses a beat. Really? And your body goes, <laughs> wakes you back up. No get, as you fall asleep, I get the. Yeah. They're quite violent. Like I fully like hit someone once. Did yeah. you? Like on a bus, a school trip. CD ROMs or CD wow. player. Those fully things. Fully like just Those falling days. asleep, just fully like, boom, just cracked him straight in the face. You just wanted to crack someone. It's a good no. excuse, isn't it? It's nothing yeah, wrong right. with it. Sorry, He's a really nice sometimes. guy, actually. Really? Yeah. Um, Shame. So you're okay with fl flying? Yeah, yeah, flight, right? yeah. yeah. Do you take just anything a when you fly? Because I just, I'll, I'll crack uh, like a Valium or two or something like that. Really? Really? As I'm like I used to. getting through security. So when I'm on the plane, I'm like, and then if it's an eight, nine, ten hour flight, you wake up seven hours into it and oh, no. you've got I'd the food on your tray that. and you're like, yes. No, nah, so we were coming I can't, back. I can't um, fall asleep on a plane unless it's injured. Really? No, nah, dude, I fall asleep before takeoff. So like we Well, were... you sleep during takeoff. Oh, I, I did sleep I don't through. believe anyone I, well, can sleep. No, 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 no I've done it. I did it. Can I tell my story? Go on. Tell us about the guest. Oh, it's my story. Now tell your story. Uh, I flew back Don't from Don't hold him back, Ford. On the <laughs> the big push. I can't remember which one. I think it was the first one. He was one. on the big push? Yeah, I was on the big push, yeah. Who were you filming? Death guys. <laughs> it's all like flew me back from Edinburgh to Luton. And what was that, I, 20 minutes? It was <laughs> literally not, it was about 45 minutes. <laughs> literally. I got on the plane, fell asleep before takeoff, woke up as we'd come to a stop at the other end. I was yeah. Like, well, Dude, I, do, I do that quite That's regularly. So dream flight. Flight. I do that quite regularly. Yeah. Have you always been like that or is it? Progress uh, like know. that because you've been flying a lot. Some, yeah, maybe. Sometimes with the, like the football trips and stuff I'll go on though. Football. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about football. Um, I'll be like, 
yeah, we have to get the early flights and stuff like that. So I'll often be yes. like getting up at like three, four o'clock to get to the airport anyway. I love flying at that time though. When you're now, up at when, that time, it's nah, great. I'm, I'm not a fan, man. It's like, fucking it, great. Maybe when you've done it, like, if <laughs> you do it regularly, what are you wanting to say? I just got a question. Go on, go on. I'll finish your question. Um, but no, we were coming back, um, <laughs> we were coming back from San Francisco. Um, yeah, not long ago actually. And we, um, yeah, we were, waiting on the on the runway like they had an issue with the plane i was like okay cool I'm i would have got the fuck off right there and then got an issue with what the plane no. <laughs> took, I, I was like right i'm gonna no. go to sleep so it took them like an hour to fix it and yeah what was the issue do you know no idea didn't ask i guess me. they don't tell you in case it causes panic i don't know yeah the left phalanges came off exactly. is it, this is genuinely Reference. what happened when i flew out this last time that's a friend when call. i had the dream yeah i was gonna say they was we stopped on the runway for two hours technical issue got all the way to the runway some lights start to flash so we're gonna go all the way back sit in there no way. two hours before we even take off no, no. i reckon that's probably what brought up the dream do you get oh, any compensation no. for that kind of shit no you should have two really? hours that's, that, that must yeah. be like four hours plus like yeah they're usually yeah. pretty bad for delays yeah yeah man so. i make you wait a long long yeah. time but I'm, I'm i've never had a delayed f flight to the states <laughs> this guy's <laughs> delayed Dude, like, all the time delay, i get delayed so much and then like yeah lost luggage <laughs> i landed in estonia and i was like oh just check my air tag see where my stuff is my suitcase was in like frankfurt <laughs> i was like cool I've just landed in Tallinn. i'm like air tags is a sweet. really good idea i never thought about yeah man really good sneak yeah. a little air tag in your suitcase so you can see where it's at but just yeah. works through bluetooth kind of thing like wi-fi yeah, yeah gps it works it's off amazing, other yeah. people yeah, it works off other people's iphones isn't it and oh does it yeah, so that's, that, that's how they know that. triangulate it. Oh, that's really yeah. cool. Because if you're if you're near an air tag for a certain amount yeah. of time, it will tell you, you later on that you've been near an air tag and do you want to oh, share that cool. information? Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. That's so. sweet. Um, but yeah, but anyway, um, yeah. yeah, I fell asleep like before takeoff, mm -hmm. and yeah, coming back from San Fran, woke up and I was like. Phew, Feel like I've been out for a while. I asked like the air hostess. I was like, "How long have we got left?" She's like, "An hour." <laughs> I Amazing. Slept from before Jeez. takeoff, I think it was like a twelve-hour flight. I'd done like eleven hours. Just like, there like that. No, no, no. So we managed to like because it was so La Liga had paid for the plane, All so right. I'd managed. To, uh, but, class. So I had, it had class? no, it wasn't. But I had like a whole row that we like pretty much everyone had a whole row. So I was you just can at least lay down out of row. it. Um, you need a lot of seats for. To have a roll over yeah, your line out because I mean, how tall are you? Like seven, a seven foot, seat row, seven foot nine. Now. Seven foot nine. <laughs> Still growing. Uh, anyway, what it's is your favourite sausage? It's lovely when you get on a flight. Cumberland. What? Oh, you like a Cumberland? Cumberland. Cumberland. Love a Cumberland. Cumberland. What about you? I'm not a sausage fan. I don't actually what? know. I'm, I'm, well, he was why? born with them on his hands, so he's got PTSD. <laughs> what's, wrong? what's your problem? I'm not really, I just don't really like, uh, uh, veggie ones, yeah. Linda McCarley ones are great. Well, it's not a sausage then, is it? Yeah, it's card It's not. Of course it's not. Fraser. I, I used to say this all the time, like veggie Can you Google burger. It? Well, it's technically not. Is a veggie a sausage to the sausage? No, because it's not a sausage because it doesn't have any elements of what makes a sausage a sausage. It sausage. does. It's got a content and it's sausage shape. Mm, Melita? Veggie sausage. Yeah, there you go. Melita saying veggie sausage. I suppose you can, a, veggie a sausage dildo looks like a penis, but you don't call a dildo a penis, do you? That's a good point. It's got its own name. <laughs> there we go. Let's <laughs> get that. <laughs> Did you get that little sound bite? Were you listening to that? No, I wasn't. John just came out with some serious deep knowledge. So anyway, yeah, it's John nice when you get on a flight. Bomb. Good uh, work, mate. According right. to Google, um, it doesn't specify that non-meat sausages are sausages. Exactly. So Cost meat Fuck. My, yeah, my, of my course world, they do. My world, yeah. Okay. Is, my world is broken. Yeah, unbelievable. So you've right. just got veggie sticks, basically. That's, that's fine. Got. I'm fine yeah. with veggie um, sticks. I think I like the, like, I don't know. I don't really know. There's, like, the sage ones. They're pretty what, cool. What, the Linda McCartney ones? No. Ch I'm sure that. there's a brand, Cauldron. Cauldron do it. No, yeah, right. veggie yeah, sausages. Yeah, but they do all the what, like, witchcraft they? sausages? Falafel. They do, they do all the falafel, no? <laughs> falafel? Yeah, um, <laughs> falafel. Sausage, just a long falafel. I guess, yeah. Technically, yeah. Uh, yeah, technically, yeah. Yeah, it is. Must be. I don't no. think falafel's not imitation meat, though, is it? Can you we either get, get like... Like mushroom and onion. We've talked a lot about well, meat substitute, you get, isn't it? I think yeah, people it's a meat just need to grow up and just <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> Let's get some. Can we get hooked up by Linda McCartney? If we get hooked up by Linda McCartney, I'll I'll go vegetarian again. There you go. Whoa. Oh, heavy. so you was a veggie for like seven years, yeah. Were you? And so you were in the perfect switch. scenario. And then you flip back. And then Sausages. I was up north. I was I was up north <laughs> filming for a, a skateboard GB episode. <laughs> 
And then we were, we were driving to a spot and there was a nice big billboard and it was like, the big tasty is back. And I was like, oh, I've not had one for seven years. I don't and think I was, the big tasty was out seven years ago. And I was, was yes. I haven't had one. Yes. Good for seven years. Producer Fraser, can you and, um, Google that? <laughs> yeah, right, let's check that as well. It was, it was either like, I'd not had one for so long or I'd not had one altogether. I can't remember. It was like <laughs> I think year. it might be the last. It was like a year, and, one minute, it was like a year and a half ago. And I can remember sitting in Mackey's with my shitty fucking McPlant burger, like, <laughs> And I was just like, fuck. I've had that well good, though. I was like, good. I was, I'm going to have one and treat myself. It was first one from the UK in 2003. What? You're kidding? Get out. Ford I'll take My name's Joe uh, James Shroudfold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know everything about McDonald's. I know everything about sports, but not about fucking big tasties, <laughs> you bastard. I love but anyway, and then I had one and I just never stopped eating them for a year and a half. That's you it. You did done. kind of, I remember when you sent me photos when you were having your operation on your ear. When was that? That was like over a year ago, wasn't it? And you, you were like, eat, you know, you video called me and you were eating fish and chips. And I was like, is that vegetarian fish? And you no, were like, uh, you were still high at the time. You were like, uh, 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 just eat. No, because I, I started eating fish first. So I was okay. like, I do the pesky fucking thing. But pesky terry. If you that. look at it, regardless of what you say, someone said to me, like, if it's got eyes and it lives, then it's meat. So don't just separate and be pescatarian to make yourself feel better. <laughs> Meat's meat, regardless if it's land or in the sea if it's got eyes it's me you know what i mean so yeah and he's got lovely little richmond fingers <laughs> he can't wear rings can't find anything to fit <laughs> i never really wondered about my i mean now you give me uh what's it called no they're they're very smooth oh no it's you got, you go for yeah, very lucky oh yeah. I, I yeah i mean i moisturize a lot I'm just it's like um, i started to get that thing of mice and men you know he's got one soft hand Toby's got two of them. You know, like, <laughs> feel his hands. You can, you can always tell when someone's really old and hiding it because the skin on their hands goes a wrinkly. And mine started doing that lately. No, I'm at that age. You, no. I think it's because you moisturise so much. No, it's not. Paper thin no? hands. Yeah, yeah. Like, can you get like a hand <laughs> lift? <laughs> you know how they like do yeah, the they, they, they cut the skin stuff. here and cut, yeah, seal just it off. I think they just yeah, just pull it tight. You know. Anyway, someone like was telling a, me. Someone was telling me the other day because all of the like skin in your hand is like I don't know how it works. It's all connected. You can do what they call degloving. Oh, I can tell you some oh, horrific things. Yeah, yeah. So apparently yeah. if you catch it in the wrong way, if yep. you yeah. cut it, like you can basically you can take all the skin Okay, off. so... Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. What he happened? Yeah. He got into a fight with someone and, well, he didn't get into a fight. He was trying to break up a fight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And apparently he reached in to like kind of pull people off him. And as he did, the guy like lent up and bit his hand. Oh. Bit his hand. Finger and like completely de sleeve one oh of my god. Fingers. Yeah. That's men. You can do it to yeah. your face as well. You can cut around your face and it just peels off. I hate to give you this information, but you can also do it to your cock because I heard a story. You know the, <laughs> you know the comedian. Um, Here we go. Is it? It doesn't yeah. sound like it's going to be a funny story. One of, uh, the comedian. Who's can you Google that phrase? The de skinning no. cock. No. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Do you want me to get your let me finish. Please. So there's a comedian. Uh, his surname's K A Y E. Is it Andy K? Comedian. Not Peter K. Not Peter K. He's an ex. He's an ex doctor, and he wrote a book about that's called "This Is Gonna Hurt." So if you Google that, one of the stories. Oh yeah, yeah. He had the there was a TV show. Yeah. So anyway, <clears throat> the 18 year old goes out on his birthday, gets pissed, climbs a bus shelter, jumps off a bus shelter onto a lamppost uh. that had some kind of anti climbing thing on it. And he degloved his cock. What, for his trousers? Yeah. And, yeah, it never was the same again, apparently. Well, Moving well, yeah. on. <laughs> the whole oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you said a picture. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. A degloved de de cock just came on the screen. <laughs> oh, no. It weren't as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only looked at the first three God. Oh, God. So anyway, yeah, oh, when you get on a no. plane and there's a full row of that. seats, when you're not expecting it and you're just like, oh, it's the best. Thank God. But that then it's the still best. some somehow very uncomfortable anyway, isn't it? But it's better than sitting like... Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, just make sure you don't de-glove your cup. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. We need to talk about who's supporting this episode of The Brain Drain Show, the podcast that you're enjoying listening to right now. Who is it? It is Dee's Nuts Hardware. Dee's Nuts is available in over 50 skate shops and skate parks up and down the uh, country. They also support over 30 skateboarders, some of which have pro bolts, including... So we got uh, Ellie Ford, Joe Hinson. Eddie Belvedere. Eddie, oh, Eddie Belvedere. Jordan Thackeray. Oh, they're one-inch ones. You can have the one-inch Eddie Who's Belvedere. Who's those, the Eddie Belvedere? I'm going to go one for the things. Jordan Thackeray 7.8s. Thank you very much, Dee's Nuts. Thank you for being a show sponsor and supporting what we do. 
Those guys all have pro model bolts pro with their bolt. own specific colorway truck bolt so, and sticker pack. So if you want in a high quality skateboarding hardware bolt for a low cost, make sure you check out D's Nuts. Make sure you grab a pack from Roller Snakes if your local skate shop doesn't have them and hit up D's Nuts on Instagram, drop them a follow. Any parting words about these fine, fine bolts, Toby? Big ups to these nuts for supporting the show. Thank you for supporting the show. Right, back to the podcast. James, let's talk a bit about um, Hold on. Did being we, Mr. Showbiz. Did we, finish, did we finish the reasons about why America's so great? Because <laughs> you go out there, family, but also you turn up to a park or go in a session and the level of skating is just unreal, isn't it? You come back yeah. from the States skating and you're like, what's the point of me even filming in the UK anymore? I think it's super weird. You you kind of have like three categories with that. Like you, I always thought that you was gonna go out and everyone was gonna be like your your SLS type skaters every single park. Mm. You kind of have your sort of like entry level stuff. Then you've got like this middle gap of like really good, and then you've just got like these exceptionally like ridiculous. Like you've never seen anything like it. I feel like I've, I've just described the full spectrum of skating. <laughs> yeah, but like <laughs> here, here it kind of like you get good and you get like entry level. You don't really. And then you get one or two people. Out yeah, there. yeah, but like John's, there John's you fully them. have like. Oops. John's SLS. No, no, Did, not just, at all. SLS just on the John. subject of SLS, sorry to interrupt. Did you see that they recreated the Wilshire 50? Did you yeah. watch that? Uh, yeah, I did Holy watch it. shit. With oh, the rail and everything. Yeah, but all the stuff that was going down it. it yeah, like, it was just First, unreal. second try. Yeah, that, it's unreal. That Jean, Ga now, Jean Ga Gonzalez, the uh, Brazilian guy. I don't know. Absolutely rid But like, was, first try, everything. He did the one, <coughs> some one of the guys did the 180 to switch crook down it. Yeah. Like second that was, try. That was him. That yeah. Jean Ga Gonzalez. And like he was just doing, he did switch back lip down he it first He did the wall try. ride out to the side yeah. as well. And it's I've, like, that's a uh, big rail. Switch back lip, switch crook. I feel like, right, my rate of progression in skating like it was nowhere I was ever going to catch up. Like my rate of progression of skating and the progression of skating was like, like it felt yeah. like it was just like, no matter how much better I was getting, it was like the standard was always getting further away from me. Do you know what it's I mean? It's going through a it's massive, like massive insane. increase. Here, isn't it? it's, it's like, you can't keep up. No. I feel like even as like, even if you're a top pro right now, you don't know if you're going to be like at the level in like a year's time, it feels like, right? I mean, it's like that, like that guy you were just saying, the Brazilian yeah. guy. He, like, amongst all those heavy hitters, he was just like, holy shit. Yeah. This guy, he can do everything. Before you had, like, the odd freak. Now there's lots of freaks. Yeah. yeah. Mate, now yeah. lots of freakishly good people. Dude, we were out at Simple Session um, in summer, and the kid that won, 13 years old, just end of his run, there's, like, it must be, like, 15, 20 foot long, like, flat bar driveway kind of scenario. Mm. And, like, finishes his run, like, front feebles, the whole thing, flip out, done. And like yeah. can flip in and flip out of that as well. And just doing stuff like that, like just end of run. Like, yeah, I think it's go. maybe Finished. because like video games and ridiculous skaters Wait. like Niger kind of desensitize kids to gnarly shit. Well, that's and all now, kids are seeing on social media now. now yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. I think the problem is as well, you're getting a lot of people who are sort of like turning up, got 10 tricks, they're doing them 10 tricks every single time they go skate. Yeah. Not to say they Training. can't do anything else, but you are seeing consistently 10 tricks mm. that they can pull up to every single competition, yeah. do first try. Yeah, comp runs. But, I remember, but then I remember, give them a ledge or something. I don't know. I Maybe you could see them. I though crazy. when I was younger and like P-Rod would like crook down the handrail to finish his run and it was like, legit yeah and so like then i'm like right i want to try and crook down handrails and then it's like finally get to crooking down handrails and it's like oh tray lips down handrails yeah. are the thing now like do you know what i mean it just feel, it started to feel like yeah it's this just like gone up. absolutely nuts i went and skated um a spot in boston called eggs like it's really well known but there's dudes there why is it called eggs? that just because there's tiny little concrete balls but they're kind of eggy shapes eggs. with ledge around them yeah and there's people there just doing tray crook Trey Crook Nolly Flip, like, you know, just on the ledges. Back to back, they'll do something backside, something front side, and then Mental. it's kind of just like, who's that Training. guy? Are they like filming for anything? They're like, no, he just skates it. Gazar can do Trey Flip Cricks, can't he? He, not, he does them. Is that is he gonna have street ones of that though, coming out in? I hope so, but I mean like, nothing like, not taking anything away from Gazard, but just a dude there on his own, doing stuff every go, like back to back, not yeah, falling. Yeah, yeah. And he opens your eyes to being like, that's why the American standard is so great and the British standard 
is so low. I, th- yeah. I think the weather plays a big role. Like, yeah, yeah, it's it got to, man. Because, yeah. like, just noticing how much, like, my skating would drop off in winter just because of like we don't have an indoor park where I where I was growing up. Because so you said like, going to like LA, the weather's yeah, man, immaculate like it drops every to, day, isn't it? It drops to like it's twenty insane. over winter. So it's a guy like I had a meeting with on Zoom out there the other day, and he was saying like because he was like yeah, it was because of time difference. Obviously, it was dark here and it was morning for them. Hmm. And he was saying, oh, I'd love to be like in England. And it's well like cozy and just chill by the fire. And I was like. Man, it like it is, but like it also sucks. Like especially yeah, if you're trying yeah. to skate, and it's like I was asking what yeah. it was there, and he was saying, "Yeah, it's 21," and it was like the morning. It's 21. He's in LA, like just he's like, "Oh, it's weather late. control, man, government conspiracies." <laughs> they get like Perfect. a smoggy haze, but as soon as that smoggy haze clears in the morning, that was a, yeah, yeah, that was another thing that I'd never seen until I went to the states. Is like your phone being alerted of like yeah, like foggy weather kind of like the air like the quality of the air isn't that good so p- some people were literally like oh we're not gonna go out because of the quality of air and i'm like you had it in, <laughs> had like, in vegas go, a couple of years ago go skate a spot in england where you buy a fucking the m6 but it? yeah and you've got black smoke coming into your face and then you go and then like <laughs> from Someone's that we from that we were like went to new jersey met up with fred gall it was unreal took us to a spot where it's like an indoor plane hanger you would have saw the video of oski skating it oh, yeah, and yeah. we're all there and it's pitch black and you're turning on the lights and you got all you're breathing in all this dust you know when we were like cleaning ourselves oh, like God. and all the people in Jer- like new jersey are just like skating in utter shit and you got people that were in like jamaica playing in boston like the air quality <laughs> 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 and i'm like you know nothing <laughs> um, you do forwards well yeah i skated in the air it. quality and i'm absolutely fine I don't know about I'm that. I'm from England, mate. I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm from England. I feel like I feel like we could have some things in a few years' time and we're like, oh, it all makes sense. Ford, what, because of air quality Like Ford UK? dies. Mutated what? sausage fingers. <laughs> yeah. It's already started. What are you getting at? Sausage fingers. What are you saying about Ford's dead? <laughs> no, he's not really here. Maybe Ford's, Is maybe, this a ghost? <laughs> maybe Ford will be dead in a few years' time. Talking of ghosts. I mean, we all will. <laughs> talk, <laughs> talking of ghosts, have either of you seen a ghost? No. no, man. Like, I don't believe in that stuff. Do you you, I feel like you really believe because you do like breaking into um, houses and stuff, don't you? Like, what? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this, no. Derelict houses. <laughs> Looting. Derelict buildings. Yeah. You do like robbery. Looting. Are I've never, you still breaking into yeah. houses? I've never seen anything creepy in those and I've been in like mental yeah, asylums at like 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in mental asylums at 6.30 in the morning? Oh, yeah, they only come out at night. Yeah, yeah. true that, true that. I've it's been there at night like, as well. Um, in fact, I, no, I was, well, was going to say it's a bit like... When, okay, well, so when, you've never seen a ghost, right? Neither of you? No. UFO? No. No. You love aliens as well. Come on, but no, he does. No, does think, photography nah, around like derelict do, buildings and we, stuff. But like, I do yeah. fully think that aliens are real. Yeah. But of course they are. Ghosts, I'm not too sure about. I mean, I but, like have you been to Great were... Yarmouth? How could what? <laughs> I'm just <laughs> plenty of them over there. <laughs> yeah, but I guess an alien is extraterrestrial life, and it'd be pretty silly to be like and a ghost. All of paranormal. that space. There's nothing that's been there before. Yeah, but if you can think about something so Come on, far-fetched it's typically, like that. Now nah, it's not far-fetched. It's well, typically English of us to be like, nah, we're the only things that nah, could but, survive. No, so we're the only... I think the interesting thing is there's like a thing, I think it was Brian Cox's thing, where it was like he was basically looking into the, or going into mm. the science of like how, like how many mental things need to align for life to exist. Controversial. Inclu- I don't, including I don't ours. Like I don't yeah. like him. Well, I mean, he probably knows his more than us. His voice annoys me. So, but he was just saying about his voice because it's like it doesn't mean you he's have not to saying be. true. Oh, yeah, he might be, but these guys uh, don't just... even care. These guys don't care. <laughs> Sorry, um, I have that all the literally. There's, <laughs> there's an episode coming out with Kate's where, like, I ask a question, he starts to answer. Toby blabber bums in, yeah. and then Kate starts what was blabbering it you were saying, back. What was it you were saying? Blabber Toby bums. does, and then and then I just look at the camera. Flood, Flodgy podgy or something. I just look at the camera and go. I might as well not even be here. Yeah. Why yeah. don't you two have a podcast and we'll yeah we'll have a we'll, we'll have a talk at the exact. So same you time. believe in aliens, but not not spirits or ghosts, and you don't yes. like Brian Cox. Yeah, no, don't yeah. like Brian Cox. Well, you've really like his voice is gone annoying. In. Oh wow, so annoying. But he's well good. Yours is quite annoying. As well. <laughs> <laughs> right, so is mine. Now, so, is- uh, so when I'm away last uh, the other week, so we're in Antelope Canyon. Uh, some guy from Texas comes up to me. He's like. So where are you from? I'm like, oh, England. Oh, what, near London? I'm like, no, no. He goes, you sound just like David Beckham. 
You do it's sound like, like David it's like, Beckham. It's like, Are you what? David Beckham stuff. And he was like, I well. love Manchester United. You do sound like And I was like, like it's David on Beckham. point because of the documentary, but I was like, you I've never like ever heard that. Also, yeah. so I can't, well, yeah, also, mind, but... how far is Ipswich from London? An hour and a half, but. You might as well just say from London. Yeah, yeah but in the US, though. it's like, I always say I'm, I'm about an hour and a half from London. Yeah. People in the US seem to know London, Nottingham, because of Robin Hood, and now Leicester because they won the nah, championship. Surely Liverpool not. and Manchester. Nah. Yeah, what, because of the Beatles? Be, yeah. No, Beatles of football and Oasis. Teams. They always refer to football teams. Yeah. They don't care about football. Nah, they, <laughs> they weirdly do. Are you, <laughs> invest are you into football? Yeah. How is into like, every sport? I sort of keep an eye on it, but I'm not like... Because... Uh, yeah. Come on, Mr. Showbiz, like here. a raging football. Are you in, T are Oscar. you into into football or did are you into football because that's the line of work? That's no, it? no, no. I got into that through enjoying football. Okay, what well, is it you like late. about it? Because I think it's lame as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mate, like, I don't not, know. Not, not to be insulting, yeah. but it is. But it? it's like it's I, a bit pacey. So Some, but the thing is, sometimes sometimes games can just be really boring. Yeah. And other times, like I'm a Spurs fan, and it was Spurs Chelsea the other day. And Why do I always hear people laugh when someone says they say they're a Spurs fan? Oh, because everyone hates Spurs. <laughs> Why, Why do they hate that? Spurs? It's not. I don't it's know. We're all like, lovely people. They, lovely they lack oh, the accolades and nah. stuff like that. Is it because they go to in, games in, and fight? In the history of football, we do not lack like accolades. Yeah, in the, just like, the history of like the last couple of decades, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in like the last 23 years. Or whatever, yeah. isn't it? I know we've spoken about it before. Like My dad is a big Spurs fan. Yeah, legend. And he's always been disappointed that I never showed any interest in football. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably been like a happier existence for you, to be fair. Because yeah. like, like John says, the last 20 odd years haven't been that fun. Mm. Um, but yeah. yeah. Um, how did you get into doing all the TV and radio stuff? Are you saying through football, um, but how did that? No, it's through skating. Oh, so through skating. It was football came, to be honest, everything started. I'm not doing skating. it on the football chat. <laughs> Are you better at football than skateboarding? And why is it called the beautiful game? Can you game? do keepy uppies? Why is football um, called the beautiful game? Can you do know. headers on, on command? Side note though, why is it, how many of these football fans have actually ever played football? Like mm. properly, like no, either for a club or f like on a Sunday no, league. they stand on the sidelines watching their kids play And then all of a sudden they like think they're football. a genius. I just don't get that. Yeah. How can you have such a interest in something that you've never really partaken in yourself? I, I Like so many people don't have a hobby. Have you, how many people Yeah, and they all watch know? football. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, it's true. People who don't true. have hobbies watch football <laughs> and like, because it's the most, oh, what are you into? Oh, I'm into football. It's the biggest talking point yeah. where anyone can talk that has no hobbies, but they can talk about football. This is this conversation is just the pros and cons of tribalism, essentially. You imagine That's what we'd all be like deep, so deep. socially yeah, deep. in the UK if we didn't have football, though. What? Because most people socialise themselves off through that. Off footy. I think it's, yeah, it is. I, th I think it's like most people that are into football, though. So you're kind of a cult leader. Like a football cult leader. <laughs> I mean, like, most people that are We thought the Danger podcast you know? was messy. This one's a messy podcast. I'm loving <laughs> this it. This is a messy Just podcast. to clarify, I don't hate Threlfall because he's into football. No. I just don't <laughs> understand. I just don't, I just don't, don't like there's it. Many like it there's many other reasons. There's many other reasons. I think, I think like, like, what you're saying, you know, like, a lot of people who don't have hobbies... It's just the go-to easy option. Like at school, they're like, oh, I like football. I oh, I do like too. you can immediately find like a group of people that like, because there's as much as like watching, as much as people are going and watching the game or watching the game at the pub or whatever, it is just like getting together with a group of mates and having a pint. So like oh, most people- horrible. With a dad. absolutely <laughs> shit face. No, so this football, is it. Football chance, football rants, have a fight after this, have a fucking scrap. But most people that watch football aren't like that. Have you this ever been thing. doing a, a piece on mic at a football thing and a riot started or some fights? Fighting? Nah, I was oh, doing a, I was doing a piece though. So, so so much of what we do with four three three is like in Europe or yeah. elsewhere in the world. Yeah, and we were doing something in Manchester, and I like they asked me to like Come straight back to fans, England. It's always fans were like, <laughs> well, it's always the fucking fans, fans were like. They were lying in the street because it was to like um, celebrate like they'd won the treble and stuff. And so the guys from 433 were like, oh, can you like stand in the road? And I'm like, mm. in front of everyone, like, this is going to go down bad. Like, mm. And managed to just like, I was like, right, we're going to one take this. Like running. Just smashed out, smashed out the line, chatting to camera. And as I finished, someone just goes, 
wanker. <laughs> I was like, great. I was like, here we go. We're in England. Um, and sometimes that's just how it is. English um, and football. And this is, yeah. To a T. How, yeah. this, sorry. It was, this like, it was funny, though. It is like, funny. It was it is, funny. Uh, they meant it. All jokes jest. aside. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was like, we're obviously there as media. Like, they meant it as a joke. Yeah. But. Um, doing the radio tv stuff so you, well how did it first start? so yeah so um so i was skating for animal um at one time. yeah how did you start skating for animal i actually had a phone call which i don't know where that came from i may have done it at the time i just i really can't remember mm. um but they phoned me and were like yeah just basically offered me to skate for animal they were gonna kick off the paid yeah 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 how much yeah. monthly it Come wasn't on. a huge amount. No, because me and Toby always we ask always these this, questions. It wasn't. It wasn't a huge amount. What was it a month? I don't know. I think it was. It was like annual though. It was like an annual installment. Oh, that's well, what, I, what, think, it, I think it was. Like, what was it, was it annually? It was like a couple of G's. It yeah, wasn't. wasn't much. It? Oh, Rianne no. was on it as well, wasn't she? Was yeah, I don't know what Rianne was hey, on. Wait, but. it wasn't much. Just a couple of G's. <laughs> Well, you're living off that for the year, like. No, but that's extra income from what you're. Yeah, but then, but then the great thing was, if you ever wanted to do anything, so they give you that, just like bang, there you go, have, have the that money. That sounds like a really hard deal. And then no, no, but no, I mean then because like you could then top it up by saying, oh, I want to go on this trip or I want to go film mm -hmm. this or whatever, and they would fund that. So it's like even though the two sounds like a really hard deal now. I'm not saying it's a really hard deal. I don't know where you've got that from. Um, but yeah, no, it's like it was, it was, it was pretty sweet. So like two G's obviously isn't a huge amount of money, but then it was like the fact that you could then go. I want hey, to two to G's is better than no G's. Yeah, two yeah. G's is better than no G's. G but um, then <laughs> they at least offered you like. If you want to do this, they then pay for that. Yeah, exactly. It's not like it's coming out. Well, we gave you two Gs. No, yeah, 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 yeah. So pretty much most things you could put to them and they'd be pretty cool. And then they'd have trips they wanted us to go on and stuff. And Where so can we, we find like, a sponsor like this to give us two well, Gs? Well, my pay. next question Are you to James, not the sponsor? Well, like, is this not the thing? Would you, um, if they approach you now? I don't think so. Anymore. Yeah. Anyway, well, um, how did it get into yeah, TV? So, so then it was actually, I think, because I've been doing like, I've been hosting skate contests since mm. I was a kid anyway, because there were no yeah. contests around by me. So then the whole thing with Animal came in and we were going to NAS Festival and mm. they wanted like basically to do like a highlights edit um, and they wanted a piece of camera to kick off the edit. Um, and so I kind of was you like, were like, I'm I was, the guy for the job. Well, <laughs> Get out of the way. Or yeah, <laughs> but I was like, man, I was fighting everyone off. Um, but now I was like, cool, I'll, I'll do it. Cause like no one else was really that keen. And then I think I've done some MCing for NAS as well, but I think they Can you do some MCing for us now? MCing, yeah. like garage MCing. Yeah, go on. Like, go on. Um, <laughs> Can no. you get some? Can you get some garage music playing? <laughs> no, cool. don't don't get some Craig. Oh come on! Get some Craig come on. David we, on. We've been Sorry, here for about on. an hour um, and we've not have answered we? one oh, question. Shit. Okay, go on. Have we been going an hour? Yeah. Oh yeah. for fuck's sake! Go on, yeah. He's <laughs> on it. And we've really actually not even <laughs> started yet. There's a big He's list. Of, uh, to be fair, and it's only getting I, colder. I'm going to say this. I'm, in fact, I'm going to say it's not on me. You talked about traffic lights for like an hour. Um, it was LA. only about so, five um, minutes. Anyway, but yeah. So so I think Nas. I've been emceeing for them a bit they maybe saw like the stuff I'd done with Animal, whatever. I did like mm. a course preview for them. Um, so I was kind of starting to build some bits up, then did like an advert for Sky and an advert for Coca-Cola. Those were totally random things that came up. So I think I had like a How bit much did you get paid for those? I can't actually remember. I can't yeah. actually remember. Can you it was probably like phone a grand account each. It was like only that. a couple of Gs. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you were getting a grand each from Coca-Cola and Sky. Just no. a grand, no chance. Mm. I say it wasn't mad. No, it wasn't like mad. No, money. you're getting more than that. It really don't lie to me. Have you heard how much everyone got paid for the Samsung thing? I was oh, down at the Samsung Come on, tell me. Thing. Did you get paid? Yeah. I'm, did you get paid? I'm, but I'm not on the. I'm. But I'm not doing the same stuff. Right. As them. So you're I'm not DJing doing the. You're that. not doing the challenges and everything. No, no, no. So I'm just DJing. How much for the other? Twenty-five grand starting for the Samsung to be a part of that. Was it? Yeah. I didn't actually know. Some this. people being paid up to like over a hundred. Okay. St Stephen Odin got over 100, didn't she? Apparently. No. no. 40. Something. 40 45. 45. Is it that much? Yeah, How like much it. did you reckon Takuna got for the... I don't uh, want to know. It just make me angry. Oh, please tell me. All right, let me tell you what he had to do as part of the contract for six months. And he's on Heelys now. Wait. <laughs> he had to do it in Heelys. I, lo I love it. Kick flips in I saw Heelys. it and I was like, if there's a guy that could smash A six-month like... contract. He only has to do one hard post a month. Right. In he About Heelys. Yeah. He, get, he got 45 grand. Yes, go on, Alex. I the, love that, People man. talk shit on it, but like, man, good, good luck No, but the him. thing is as well, the stuff he does, he's not going to do just like a boring, oh, riding my Heelys. He will do something creative the, with the it. The thing is with Dakuna, cool. with that and say another, another endorsement or two, 
That's a down payment on a sick fucking house. That's what I mean. You know what yeah. I mean? So props to him. Yes. Has he like, bought a house? We want to get him on. Uh, the, I don't think so. No, no I think we want to get it, him on. Yeah. We want to get him on the show, but we don't know if he thinks that if he comes on, we're just going to rinse him for this stuff. Like no, maybe yeah, I'll ten fill, years I'll ago. Fill him in. But Pitching but now like fill him in. <laughs> <laughs> Kick him. But, in. but now it's what? like, well done. You've got money for a secure house. Yeah. You've secured a future. Mate, the thi- like he he's, he's really right. great on his okay. content yeah. and stuff. Like yeah. he will make it. Well, is it? He manages to make dream, that stuff that is like ultimately that is the like those are the places you're going to make money from skating. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And so if they're offering that money, you can't Fucking turn that take down. It. You can't turn that down. And then he is going to do what he does where he makes some great content out of it, where he's skating, like yeah. doing something like flip back tail or whatever, pop off onto his heelys he or whatever some, it might be. He did be, something you know like I mean? flip Manny, jumped off onto his heelys and Manny on his heelys, then jumped back on his board. Right. Didn't See, and that that's kind him, of stuff. It? Do you know what I mean? Like he'll make that work. What's, yeah. what's the lowest you're willing to sell your soul for though? Well, well, we we're like, what, what's, what's the worst thing okay, that you would do for 45 would, grand? <laughs> what's the worst thing that you would do How much would you have to be paid to endorse Crocs? I would do much. it. I'll I do it for free. To. I would love Crocs. You love Crocs, <laughs> isn't it? Crocs are sick. <laughs> All right, but they're going to... We, we put this question to Kate, didn't we? Kate was Richmond like, Kate said two grand. No, he wanted 20 grand. Oh, they'd have to pay me a little bit. I mean, they are pretty good. 20 grand a month, is what he said. 20 grand a month from Crocs. Who? If Kate was to skate for Crocs, they'd have to be 20 grand a month. Hinton said six. What are you saying? Free. If Crocs offered you a contract <laughs> and said, you choose what we pay you, oh, but it, it's within... Then I'm going to go like if it's 100 within, mil a month. Then. If it's within reason. Oh, why is it within reason? Well, so, I mean, so Hinson said six. Hinson said six. Kate said... 20. Well, he, went, 20. he started at 10 a month. 20. Yeah. I'll go five. All right, so you're in Just there. sort of Just going under, under, under the You're low in there. They might go in the middle then. Then Hinson's got it and yeah. Hinson's fucking the, the face of Crocs. No, because they're going to give him five to save a grand a month to get Hinson. How long is this podcast going to be? Probably about well, four Have you got hours. somewhere to be, James? Is... No, I'm just concerned. Have you like, got a flight to Prague? This is, to this is asked one question and we're a good hour deep. All right, okay. Um, let's get some questions out of the way. Right, I've got the first one I want to talk about here. We didn't even finish how we got into... Well, doing... this one here just says football bollocks. Well, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, and so, so dude, so that was... In fact, actually, yeah. So, so I'd, I'd, done the, I'd done the adverts and stuff. So I had like a bit of stuff where I could be like, here's a bit of a showreel of my work. Um, yeah. And then I like pitched a TV show to the Extreme Sports Channel, and weirdly they were like really down, like they wanted to what work was with this? me. What was the show? So I can't remember what I was initially pitching. It was probably terrible. Have you got it somewhere? Did... Have you got your old show reel? Oh no, I do not want to watch my old show. I have no. Can idea we have it, it put is. on this? I have no idea where. Did it you ever, is. ever have an Extreme Sports T-shirt? You know the big. No, XS I never ones. had that. No, no, no. But they, um, but they basically, we went back and forth. I, in fact, I was saying to them for ages that like, oh, I'd just love to work with you and doing this stuff, and they're like, oh yeah, it'd be really cool to try and do something. And then in the end, I was like, maybe I actually just need to pitch an idea. So I sent them an idea, and they were like, oh cool, like an idea. But they were like, was it, it like a reporter work. show kind of thing? Like you go. No, nah, so we essentially what it ended up being it was called Now Boarding, and we Extreme. did. Six, <laughs> we did six episodes mm. going around Europe. Yeah. Um, and they paid like, for it. Yeah, yeah. Just basically meeting people. And then they gave you a couple of G's. Like, <laughs> a couple of G's. Um, we were meeting people that were like, um, yeah, basically had taken skating and done something different with it. So that was actually where I met Pritch for the first time. Right. So we did an episode on Pritch, talked mm. all about Dirty Sanchez and stuff. Um, guy called Hugh Hardy, who's a good mate as mm. well. He's like a really solid drum and bass producer doing loads of stuff. But like, it was all about that basically. But like, went in and I was like, we got an idea to a point that they were like, cool, we want to make this, but we don't mm. have a production company. So they're like, we have everything signed off. We've got budget agreed. And I'm like, I'll make it. So like hit up a friend of mine who was filming skating with us loads at the time. So I was skating for Skate Warehouse at that point. And yeah. Pete Pickford was like filming loads of stuff. Like we'd go on trips and it was like, it was really obvious that Pete wanted to do more than just filming skating. Like he'd go out and like get hyper lapses and stuff of like mm. where we were when we were like, you know, we'd all go and chill in the evenings and he'd be out filming bits. Yeah, so it's it well fun filming stuff aside from yeah actual so, just skate exactly so it was like it was really clear he wanted to do more stuff like that so i basically put it to him and i was like do you think yeah. you could do this and he was like yeah 100 yeah. percent." so we just smashed it out together one other camera guy made like a six-part tv series um which is kind of like pretty mental like we signed the contract like that we 
had to deliver this TV series and kind of had no idea if we could actually do it. Mm. And they were fake hyped. It, fake it till you make it. They, man, they were fu they were fully yeah, based on it. Pete to smashed you. it. Um, yeah. We had a guy called Jack who joined us to film a couple of episodes as well in Europe. Um, and we were just like, yeah, we fully scrimped it, but we got the budget and like, yeah, yeah. delivered it to them. But had to, like at the time- Are they um, available to watch? They should be, yeah, somewhere. Yeah. I'll, ask, I'll ask, man. It was called Now Boarding. Now um, Boarding. They went out to 50 countries, like, mm. yeah, and it was Have four got... years was getting repeats, probably for like, did you get any uh, residual earnings? Nah, that? man, we no, because the dude, at the time, a, have you got an agent? Yeah, it, well, have you yeah, got an agent? But like, at the t yeah, oh, you but didn't at, have one then. No, no, of course not. I haven't done anything, up. but like, at the, Ford and Toby's have, agency, have you just had <laughs> he literally pitched an idea and didn't have a crew to do yeah, it? No, no, you think he's so got an agent? No, I did. So equally, I was like, I'm, I, I was just wanting the budget to like go and do it. So it was like, it was on my CV, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it was like, I wasn't in a position to be arguing about residuals, royalties, all of that stuff. Who's your um, agent now? Um, well, I kind of got someone I'm loosely working with in football. Okay, because Ford needs an agent. Do you need an agent? Do you want one in football? <laughs> yeah, after <laughs> all of this. So he's he's doing a lot of football stuff with me, um, but I'm, I'm kind of handling a lot of the other stuff. I have stuff. an agent for filming, so I mean, Look, I'll film anything if the money's right. A couple of Gs. A couple, couple of Gs. A couple of Gs. Um, and then right. when did it go from that into working with, who is it, 433? Yeah, 433. The four, biggest three, three. football, it kind of, social media platform, yeah. Instagram thing in the world. Yeah, it, yeah, it? yeah. It's pretty mental. You know it, what? I won't, I won't watch anything, obviously, clearly, about football. <laughs> But when it comes on your page, because I like you and you've got such a lovely presentable face, I actually, <laughs> I actually sit there and watch it all. And, and, listen, and, listen and I'm to like the, the overexcited James <laughs> Felfall. Oh I'm God, here in Prague. Football, football. Wow. We're going to show you a guy kicking a ball into a goal. <laughs> But I watch it and I'm like, I nice, love James now. is killing it. No, I don't love football. <laughs> nice, James is killing it. Like, yeah, it's just like, <laughs> seeing your mates do good, it's nice, isn't it? It's, it's good. Mate, it's fun. Like, it's, it's nice. Fun. Yeah, yeah it's I mean, that's, of... a, that's a good one to have an ex. It's, yeah, I mean, really good, like the... Really good. Yeah, Surely yeah. you're set for life reporting for them and if you stop, you've got plenty of avenues to go into. Yeah, the thing I, I have though, man, because I've started doing, because obviously I'm doing Formula One stuff as well. So it's like I've got... Music. Are you a fan of Formula One or is it Mate, a but I probably know more, it. I know more about Formula One than I do about football. Mm. Um, Can we get a Formula One um, fact checking quiz and test him? Oh, go on. <laughs> Have a go. I, I, could, I could be terrible at this. If it's old Formula One, I'm, I'll probably suck. But if it's like. Go for uh, the last decade. Um, yeah, the last is, decade. Yeah, yeah, I looked yeah. into a bit of old Formula One recently. There was a, there was a big crash. Yeah. Guy got out of the car and was all kind of like discombobulated. Was this the fire? And then Roman someone Grosjean. ran across the track and was hit by a car. Oh man, that, yeah, that's This was old, like Italian. That's, or that's all really old though, 2010? right? A 2010. Right. 2010. Go. From 2010 till now? No, it's, I've just started in 2010, 2010 Formula One. I'm, I'm not going to be good at that. Well, well you said you know be, more about it than football. 20, I do. I do. No, now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, go 2015. Now, but this, I, I still probably were like, I'm really bad at remembering. Like, someone said to me earlier, what were like the, the other day, what was the most exciting race this season? And I was like, oh, it was definitely the one where Carlos signed one and like kept Lando Norris in DRS. But you can right? remember location. And I was like, I can't remember where that was. They were like, which, was, which race is that? I was like, I can't remember. It was Singapore, I think. I don't even sure know Singapore. anything you've but, just said. Yeah. To be honest. Well, this yeah, is it. Like but like, I could, I, like, you is there ever me, such thing as an exciting race? Hundred percent, yeah. dude. You need to come. You just like, watch. all right. Well, how's about you get someone to budget me and send me out there, okay. <laughs> and then um, look if and I'll and I'll film your socials for you. So at least I'm putting in the work, so I'm not there for free. Yeah. And then maybe I can learn about it, and I'll Let's be like, go. oh my god, fuck skating. <laughs> Formula One is where it's at, and maybe and, we'll we'll make you a Spurs fan throughout the season and, um, as well. And I don't know what anything about Spurs is, but yeah, okay. A, a what band? A Spurs, a Spurs fan. fan. A Spurs fan. See what I mean? Yeah. Put your hair in anything. <laughs> um, it don't make any difference. Toby, have, you, have, you got, have you got a quiz from this season? I've got a general one. A oh, general one. Let's try. Let's try. On, we'll try. John, John will be right. Are you into it as well, John? Yeah. John, John oh, God, that's why I went out to Who Vegas. Oh, right. Okay. Successive Formula One World title in October 2013. Sebastian Vettel. One point. Thank you very much. Could That's play, all we need to we know. Play? He's proved his How point. How much fuel will a Formula One team use in a typical season? Oh, God. 2,000 litres, 20,000 litres, 200,000 litres, or 200 million litres? 200,000 200, easy. 200,000 litres, surely. Hang on. Even, I know, even I know that. <laughs> 433 Sports. Get me there. It's not 433 four, do football, mate. Yeah, um, but... You're blowing they're not doing F1. They're, they're, I mean, not, they're not dealing with fuel. Technically, but. they could, you know, business idea... 
branch out. Well, shall right. we start Mirror on, on no, the No, no, I want to talk about Kanye. I reckon we should uh, go something skateboarding. So we've actually yeah, not really to. spoke about skateboarding. Are we, yes, we have. We talked about... We've talked loads about skating, haven't we? <laughs> We've not. We've not. My lips are falling apart. Should we just delete <laughs> the first hour? Put more paper. <laughs> paper hands, paper lips. Will when it comes to the edit. I've got. I've got this theory that, theory that Toby's made of like paper mache, <laughs> and he's not a real human. I feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> Sausage fingers. <sighs> just paper mache. Sausage finger, paper mache, right, <laughs> and <laughs> we're back. There you go. Don't Do you have that. You should you should have like a podcast or something because you got a really presentable. You're obviously very presentable. I did. Doing. Well, I did. It's like, it's curbed at the minute, but yeah. Yeah. Who do you have what, on it? You what had, was it um, about? Did you have Sean Walsh on? Yeah, Sean Walsh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's He's that? wicked. He's well good. He's, he likes all my stuff on Instagram still. <laughs> Who's can you Sean get him Walsh? on? A comedian. Can you get him on here? Should you try and get Sean Walsh on. Can here? he just? We, yeah. all, all we need for guests on here is a very very. Thin link to skateboarding. Amazing. So we so I offered I... him. Um, Element sent me like some of the Ghostbusters boards, right? Mm. And Sean's like a well big fan of um, of Ghostbusters, and so I like, messaged him, being like, "Dude, I've got three. Like, do you want one?" Of each. And he, uh, w- of what? Like, oh no, no, I series. had it was three Slimer boards. So I was like, I don't need three of the same one. Do you know what I mean? I was like, oh, maybe offer him one. And um, and that's up, how you got kicked off. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was like, do you want do you want a Slimer board or, like Slimer deck? And he was like deck like what do you mean and i was like oh like skateboard deck and he was like oh no i've got enough shit in my house mate <laughs> he's like thanks though I, was we, like, um, I don't know if you watched the one with um ricky art ninja so he, uh, he's, yes, he's good I, friends, I saw some of that he's good friends with either dick or dumb i don't know which one yeah and we were there was a few voice notes about and forwards about getting dick and dumb on here that would be amazing but there was there was so little skateboarding yeah angle that were we they into like, it they mm, why are we going to get Keith Lemon on as well? So Where are Lee Keen? He, he buys yeah, from the, snakes. Yeah. He buys boards and stuff from snakes. Fra- Hang on, what? Lee Francis. For, he skates? Lee Francis used to so. skate and he collects skateboards. And he no buys way. from us. So and I, I messaged him because he follows I'm snakes. I'm going to find his address on the back end and just knock on his door. Don't say like, that. That will get us arrested. <laughs> and then... <laughs> well, I'm not going to do it. He he basically <laughs> said he said to me, yeah, but you have to go through my agent. Went through his agent. And she wanted to know all the figures and we'd only just started, so they weren't going to fuck with us. Yeah. Now we've got 10 million views. We probably could. Perfect. We probably Do you remember, could, you yeah. could also dial yeah, in. Got 10 million views. Um, <laughs> you could dial in Ashton Kutcher at this point, couldn't you? Yeah. Last time I was here, you were phoning up Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> how did you get his phone number? Like, How did that happen? Did you put it on the internet? I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> <laughs> right. This he, talk- was like, he phoned up, he goes to voicemail. Yeah. And he, it's like, and he hey, goes- this is Ashton's phone, leave a message. And he's like... Right, it's Ford. <laughs> <laughs> he says like, hey, it's Ashton. Who calls anymore? Just text me. And I'm like, but yeah. It's hilarious. He's like, yeah. Hell, he so. leaves a voice message. All right, it's Ford. Just check it out. Should, should I try and call it again? Yeah. Wait, hold on a sec. Chill out. Don't tell me to chill out. All right, I'm sorry. We need to talk about this episode's uh, sponsor. Which is? Which is Slow Gold Clothing Co. Take it away, Toby. So Slow Gold was started in 2018 by complete and utter legends, Stu Cantelow mm. and Laurie Sherman. The best thing about Slow Gold Clothing Co, in my opinion, is that it's actually designed by skateboarders, yep, yep. for skateboarders. The yep. quality is incredible. This is Millerain wax canvas, which means it's a little bit water resistant when you're out on your motorbike or skating home from the session. And there's a little bit of bad weather. Slow Gold also hook up a bunch of rippers. They we've do. Got, we've got Alex Halford, Jordan Thackeray, Sam Beckett, and everyone's favorite, Horsey. Slow Gold have very kindly given us a discount code for 20% off your order. 20%? 20. That, that's, that's a lot. Twice as many as 10. Yeah. If you enter Brain Drain 20 at checkout at slowgold.co.uk, you'll get 20% off your order and you get free shipping and you'll get stickers because they're skateboarders and everyone loves stickers, so they know you're going to love that it. That is true. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, these guys are rad. Thanks for the hookup and sponsoring the episode. Thank you very much. Should we go back to the episode now, Fordo? Yeah, let's go back to the episode in three, two, one. Your mum. America, Kanye, go. Ashton, call me. Oh, yeah. Um, Tell us about Kanye. So, I mean, in short, I (sighs) went for a wee with Kanye. We don't want it in short. We want the full length. No, but I'm just saying that's the headline. Okay, Okay. go. I went for a wee with Kanye. All right, give give us the back end. (laughs) We were in this bar um, in LA. It was like, it was was quite a nice little spot, wasn't it? It was like a rooftop rooftop bar. bar. It was like a rooftop bar. And... um, yeah, there were. It was like fairly small, wasn't it? It wasn't like it wasn't like there were loads of people, and you you're like well good with knowing who people are. But I feel like most people recognise Kanye. Yeah. He walked straight past me, and John like we were literally sat on these stools, 
guy walks in round us and you're like, that's Kanye. Mm. That's Ka- and I'm like, nah, like, like I'm, I'm there's no way. Pretty sure that's Kanye. Let's follow him to the there's toilet. There's no way. No, no, no. Yeah. He walks around us and goes to the bar, and Kanye just walks to the bar, right? He's with his manager and just stands at the bar and just like that, just looks out across the room, right? And it was like, that can't be Kanye. Like, no way he'd do that. Like, he wouldn't just be in a public bar with one person. Do you know what I mean? And the more we looked at him, the more it was like, it's, it's, like, def- I'm it's bloody definite. convinced. It's like, definitely. And really he was convinced. like looking at us as well. Like, totally. He was looking over. He was like, is that for us? <laughs> I've seen him doing the stuff with the big brick. He totally big clocked. He sure. totally clocked that we were like staring at him though. He it was had like, oh man. Like, but you stop. just couldn't stop looking because it was like, I'm sure that's Kanye. And then they walked out anyway. And it had been a little bit, right? Yeah. Did they get a drink? I think they had yeah, a they drink, drink at the bar. They had a drink at the I bar. I think you'd, you'd, got, you'd Googled just to, because I was check like, his manager, yeah. I was like, he looks different. He's sort of like a bit podgier, big old beard. <laughs> when was this? <laughs> But yet, oh, this yeah, is, it was just... Was this recent? Yeah, when did we go? So this April. Is April. It was April, yeah. April. yeah. Okay, anyway. Yeah, because he is a little bit bigger and bearded now, isn't he, as well? Yeah, you? I think... He, he was, was also little... just... He was quite... He was looking just quite mellow. Like, he, were, he oh, wasn't... Yeah. It wasn't like he was, like, full, like, dressed up Kanye. Do you know what I mean? So I mean, he's at the bar looking over. Yeah. You make eyes. He suggests to go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, so they... Him and his manager, I'd Googled and I was like... Well, this looks exactly like his manager as well. Pretty nailed on at this yeah. point. It is Kanye. But they leave and we're like, okay, cool. Like, you know, they've obviously gone. I go into the toilet and as like I walk in, Kanye walks out of a cubicle and it's just me and Kanye <laughs> in this toilet. Did you say anything and to him? No, nah, I was Did like, you even say like, I think I was Kanye? like, oh, <laughs> hi, like, all right, or whatever. Like, walk past him because I had to walk past the cubicles. Like, it was an narrow like alleyway thing to the urinals and he stands like leaning against the behind wall behind you as you looking, <laughs> looking at you <laughs> you Just guys deep, deep breathing like I've, I'm not saying any of this um, he um, he leans against the wall texting and then <laughs> I have to go for a wee whilst Kanye is just stood there and it's just me and him in this toilet. He's probably, he's probably like this, like, <laughs> James Throwfall. <laughs> look- Shall I ask him to piss in my mouth? Oh my God. Maybe um, like... And I was like, oh, like man, like st- the biggest stage fight I've ever had. I was like, I did manage to go in the end, but then I was like, oh my God, like, I'm just going for a wee and like Kanye's just stood there hearing me. Go Watching me. A- Go for a week. Should have turned around um, and been like, I miss the old Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me take a piss, Sure, that would have gone down so well. Um, but yeah, so then I, w- I walked over and like, washed my hands. And then Good, as well I'm done. walking out, yeah. um, like I open the door and he like follows me out. And like, I hold the door for Kanye. And I was like, what is going on? Did like? he say anything? Did he say thanks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he was nice. just like, thanks or whatever. And then like, but they then, I think they oh. then got the lift down. And I came yeah, back to the table and I was like, <gasps> like full like. Oh, Any photos alone, or right. anything from the night? No, right. So what I reckon has happened here. Yeah. Here we go. So those two, somebody randomly said, oh, you guys look like Kanye and his manager. <laughs> they were just two random dudes. <laughs> and that's their act. They go around LA. Hopefully. Yeah. And they try to see what they can yeah. get out of people. Yeah. So he was expecting you to turn around and go, oh, you can't do that. Yeah, I'm Kanye. Oh, and but when but you did, I can't do an American So the, the <coughs> hotel basically, like... They confirmed it. The hotel had been opened by Leonardo DiCaprio and like... It was a bougie... Like Paris Hilton it, or it, someone. Yeah, like it, was like, it was a bougie spot. Like, it, you know... And well, they, like collaborative owners like Paris Hilton and... Like, no, no, no. They, <laughs> no. they were just down there like the, to I, open they had, it. Like, they just came full, down to open it. Yeah. It was, it was a nice spot. But they like... Yeah, we. What world we spoke are you to two in? <laughs> no, it wasn't like we just got some drinks. Kanye. <laughs> doing coke with DiCaprio. <laughs> we we were doing we poppers with hotel. Paris. We spoke to the hotel and they were basically poppers saying. Poppers with Paris. That's a good <laughs> one. Like that. You've done many poppers recently. I never got into them, but I know a couple of people that really did. Yeah, some people love that shit. But yeah, so we spoke to the hotel about it, and they were like, they were saying, basically, I get quite a few people through because mm. they have their own like security for the hotel but for like vips no, um, non-publicity or and something they, so and people yeah, can't take pictures it's like no you there's a no press, press rule so it's like if you're suspected to be like a journo or whatever get out and journo. like if you were security if, shit then if you got through <laughs> clearly. um but one of the most like, recognizable men on <laughs> like, <laughs> world sport they, i reckon i reckon if you were to try and like if if we'd have taken like got our phone out to try and take a yeah. picture they'd have like been on it in an instant but they were saying like the hotel their security will link up with the security for people so like 
Kanye security and the hotel security know each other well. Um, so they like, yeah, fully link up when he's there. Um, but yeah, they were saying they tip 40% every time they're in. Yeah, him and his girlfriend, are like really yeah, good tippers. Tip 40%. Um, so it's there we tight, go. tight, isn't it? With all the money he's yeah, got, that's I could fucking, fucking give nothing. him right. Unbelievable. That so that was the time tight. I went What's, um, um, Sorry, hang on one sec. What did you tip him? Maybe. 20? <laughs> 20 maybe probably. I only, I only probably the, the lowest. recommended lowest because <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go something to eat for like $20 for the meal and then it's 35 because the service charge there's tax and yeah. that's one thing but that this sucks time, about the states is the hidden charge don't you shake your head at me you know it sucks this time I, mean, I noticed that the receipts suggest the tip before they add the tax so you do the pre-tax value so you pay a little bit less and it's actually technically seen as an insult to tip minimum amount. Is it? Yeah. I don't give a fuck. They're not going <laughs> to see right. me again. And I'm if sure they it's are. more of an insult not to tip at all, isn't it? So yeah. It's, like, it's you, what worse if you like frequent. I'd that. rather not be tipped than get tipped fifteen dollars. I did. I had someone. I did have someone kick off at me first time I was in LA. Um, I went to a bar, ordered. I think that's two. so different though. Because I've only been to like Massachusetts, like down that coast. I think. Just there's completely different yeah, to New maybe. York. East and, Coast is way different to West. Yeah, yeah. I got I got two. Is Boston I got two West? Beers. Boston's East. It's like Northeast, yeah, isn't it? It's yeah. kind of cause yeah. It's, it's like next to New, New, York. New York. Is that up from New York? Up yeah, New York. like five um, hours or yeah, something. Yeah. Took um, us five six hours to get to yeah, New Jersey yeah, yeah. or something yeah. like that. But I got I ordered two beers, two bottled beers as well, and she like literally went there. You go, bang, done. I pay, and she was like, you know, it's rude not to tip here, right? And I was like, I was just being like, it's rude to talk back to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've just bought this. Because you, you spoke to me like, because you spoke to me like that, I'm now not tipping. I was, I was like, what is going on? Like, because I was, I was like, if I, I, I thought I'd tip for service, and I'm like, I don't feel like there's been a huge amount of service here. But did I you like, say that to her? I did, and she was like, uh, but I was saying because it was like because it was they were doing like table us? service and stuff. I had gone to the bar to yeah, get my own beers, yeah, okay. and it was two bottled beers that I bought, and I was like. I just, I don't know. I did end up, I gave her like a couple of dollars on it, but it was like, it was really But then bizarre. you feel like you're just giving them dollars just because you've been told off to do so. Oh, and that was it. Yeah, and I was like, but I don't want to like offend people. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to come here and be like, well, I wouldn't do that back home. The, so I'm not the ignorant English guy. Exactly. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't tip back They home. don't, <laughs> they don't fuck though. Like, yeah. Tia didn't realize we were at a hotel and this was on like sunset and, um, Literally, like, guy was just like, oh, do you want me to help carry your bags to your room? And she was like, yeah, yeah, it's fine, not a problem. Like, showed her into the room, took the bags in, stood there for a second. She's like, well, she never carried the money in. was just yeah. a bit like, what's this guy doing? Does she do what Macaulay called Literally him like, in Home Alone, where he gives him, like, chewing gum? <laughs> she, honestly, honestly, this guy just shook his head, walked off in the most, like, pissed off manner. Did you and then just proceeded to in? dagger her. Oh, I wasn't there. That's oh, the no. thing with like the states is they expect to be tipped all the time, and like, it gets I, worse now. Uh, you go to Starbucks like drive through, you pay for a, pay for your food or pay for whatever you're getting, and they still come up with a suggested tip, and you're like, well, what have you done? You've just what operated a card machine? <laughs> yeah, but they reckon it's just getting way too out of hand there. Yeah. And they just click a button to like. Yeah, it's just a generic out. like yeah but it's insane that each state has its own different you think every so, customer yeah. one dollar on it's a lot a lot of money yeah. Isn't yeah. It? yeah yeah james threlfall i'd be really interested to know about you going to america and skating with june pastress tell me all about it tell us all about it james <laughs> Hit it, hit it, James. Um, Over to you, James. Yeah, no. I'm, and is that board a gift for the for yeah, the, for the yeah, set? Yeah, Can yeah. we keep that? No, you can't keep it. You just said yeah. I said, was it yeah, a gift? Did. And you said oh, yeah. So it was yeah. a gift so to said, me. Yeah, didn't he? He said yeah. yeah. It was a gift to me. Um, I think Malita's really regretting. Malita's so hating it. She's sitting in on this. She's sitting there so eating Christmassy pretzels. pretzels. It's fine. As quietly as she can. Like a little mouse in the corner. <laughs> how how did it unfold me in June? Um, so that was simple session. So I think he was, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he, he does was he presenting, judge or present? Yeah. He was presenting yeah. out there for Red Bull. Um, and I was doing, what did I do? I was doing something for Red Bull as well at the time. So I, basically I met him out there. Mm -hmm. Really good guy. Um, we were going out to skate in LA and like I basically just dropped him a message saying, yeah, we're going to be there. And we linked up a few times actually whilst he was there. Um, and just like a really good guy. He's like genuinely just a mm. wicked, wicked guy. Um, and we like, we went down to the, um, where was, was it Orange County that the Vans Park was? Yeah. Where the 
that's now closed, right? Huntington the, Beach or the in, indoor one? The indoor, indoor one was one, just around the, the corner. Indoor the indoor one the BMX m- mall or died and yeah, yeah, crazy. But they had um, one of the the girls' contests but on like the big combi pool thing there. And um, like Chris was coming down. Um, we were all going to meet there. And mm. um, he was like, oh, he's like, I've, I've got Jason Lee with me. I hope that's okay. Like, yeah, of course that's fucking like, okay. That's what? Fine. Like, yeah, what? 100%. Um, so, so you met Jason Chris, Lee as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Chris came, comes down with Jason, who obviously, outside of skating, well, everyone knows his my with. name as well. But then like, <laughs> in his skate- first name first name terms isn't Jason, it? Jason, yeah. I was no, just hanging no, out like, with uh, it's not like, Jason. It's not like I know him. So it's like he's best mates with Chris. But like, yeah. So I met him, really nice guy. But obviously for us, it's like, man, like pretty much like pioneer of the tray flip, right? And it's like, that's the only flip trick I can do. So it's like, perfect. So, um, so yeah. It's not we, the only flip trick you can do. Stop putting your skateboarding ability down. You're no, a great, you're a great got, skateboarder. Thanks, but not like at flipping the board that well. Um, it does it. There we go. Hey, just on the he side doesn't. note, we, Carl Shipman's booked to come on here. Is he? Mm. Yeah. That's cool. No no and Vaughn Baker. We, no got, we started to, people were like, okay, yeah. But yeah, to get Shipman on as well. And That'd then be Vaughan wicked. And, I mean, yeah. You want to get the Americans coming through as well then, eh? Like, it's yeah. But, it, get but it's like, the hard thing with that is, their sponsors aren't going to pay for it. Mm. And we can't be like, here's a grand for, because we want to get Belga and Gary on as well. Yeah. And it's like, but we can't be like, take a grand out of the company to, what you need to, to is get... a big flat screen TV here and do some Zoom stuff for the stage. It's not the same. Cause it's look, not the same. Cause no, we need them yeah. yeah. here. Yeah. Tim Belgon Gary, Tim Olsen, he wants to come on. He's a, he, he, right from the beginning, he was a, bit, a big fan of the show. It's so yeah. easy to just get someone on like live stream or something like you know, through video call, like but it, it, it's yeah. actually like so much more legit if they're there. Yeah. yeah. It's not just like, yeah, I'll do it on the phone. Yeah. Um, anyway, so you met Jason Lee. Yeah, yeah. So and Chris Pastras, really, June. That was really cool. And it was really funny because it was like people coming up to have pictures with Jason. And you, and you it were was like, like, we were like, in there. we're with him, but we've also met him today. It was, it was really yeah. weird. Um, but Chris is just like a really good dude. Like, like to phone up and check that we were cool with him bringing Jason. It's like, it's yeah, why wouldn't you be? Sorry, everyone. Chris Unreal. Now. Um, Unreal. Sorry, it was, but it was like, yeah, it was just it, like the best dude. And we, so we'd hung out a bit. And you then, saw Jason Lee skate? Nah, he wasn't skating. But apparently, like Chris was saying, he had been skating a lot at that point. This is a good few years ago, though. I think this was like, this was pre-COVID, maybe 2019. Um, he can still yeah. skate really good. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good. In fact, no, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just the year before we went. What was year was this? I don't even know. Was this, know. did you not I meet say, Jason Lee? He was not on the trip you were nah, on? No, 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 it was a different <clears> trip, different trip. But yeah, as we were pulling out anyway, like literally just driving away from the warehouse, um, he runs out with this and he was like, yeah, wanted to. Oh, nice boards. dude. So it was like, yeah, really yeah, cool. Right. So it's like reissue of yeah. some of the Yeah, they iconic. came out with a bunch of those reissues, the original yeah, yeah, yeah. single child one yeah exactly i had one of those as well so yeah hooked me up with that and i was yeah. like that is wicked because obviously yeah. legendary kind of graphic and yeah what a guy so yeah, like you it, asked me to bring boards down i was like i don't know what i've got so it did mean us. a lot it did mean a lot meeting him and then buying it on your own but to meet him and get it from him yeah it's just something you'll never let go um you mentioned earlier about when you broke your ankle yeah and you're having loads of gas yeah. And then you stop breathing. Yeah. Tell me about have that, I, James. I told you about this. I remember you saying about breaking your ankle, but not that you stopped breathing. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Pretty heavy. Because um, you hit the gas too hard. I hit the gas too hard. Well, they hit the gas too hard on my behalf, basically. Um, like, yeah, I. so I'd learn back threes on, like, boxes, transfers and stuff. So, like, I don't know, melon, but not. Backside like, grab. What's your what's your deal with melon and backside grabs? Like, is it only melon if it's tweaked? Mm, yeah. So right. backside grab three, whatever. Um, came round like I think slightly under rotated, um, and my foot came off the back, planted on the floor, and then I turned. Um, yeah, just felt my leg go bang, and just like yeah, Jeez. slid down this landing. Like, oh no, like I've definitely done it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so went to went to hospital. Um, I'd broken my leg in like six places, I think. So I'd done tib, fib, like shin, clean, and then ankle into like four pieces, I think it was. Um, but my well foot done. was 
Thanks, mate. <laughs> my foot was off to one side and it was like jammed off to one side. It was like stuck there. Um, and so, yeah, they were like, look, we'll operate in the morning, but we need to try and get your foot back into place. Um, so they took me to like recess. Um, and I guess because of where the story goes, that makes sense. But they were like, basically, they had a team of, I think it was from my bad memory from having loads of gas in there. I think it was like six of them. And like two of them, one guy was gonna snap my foot back. The other one was gonna be on all of my anesthetic, morphine, whatever. Um, and the other four would just hold me down. Um, yeah, mental. So he got me to lie there. He like, he gave me this massive canister of gas in there. And he was like, right, hit this. And he's like, I'm gonna be back in Did he say minutes. that, hit this? <laughs> something to that effect he was a really cool guy but he was like have this he's like when i get back in 15 minutes i want this whole thing empty so i was like okay cool so i was just going through it and i was obviously just like yeah off my nut at that point um and so he put some morphine in or whatever and he is putting all his weight into like trying to snap my foot back basically like no clean method it's just full weight to try and Pull my foot back basically um and it makes my stomach drop when people talk about oh dude it was bad so yeah. they're they're holding me and i'm there like screaming like, <clears throat> like and he he looks at me and he's like he's like your shin's stuck and i'm like oh, cool fuck. okay great and they they say oh we're gonna give you some more morphine and that's the last thing i remember like i i, I feel like in my head i remember them saying he stopped breathing but i can't I don't know if that's me just tripping. Um, but yeah, it can't have been for very long. But the, yeah, I, I was out. I was I was out. They gave me a good dose. They of They gave you too much medicine. Yeah. So are you taking legal action? <laughs> no, because they got my leg back in. Did you um, see any bright lights? I didn't, no. See any ghosts? No, nothing. Any no spooks? Ghosts, no aliens. Orbs? No aliens. Something. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> no, so I, like, I just totally, I, I, it, must have been, it must have literally been like. So you didn't die? It can't have been. No, I didn't die. I didn't no. die. I stopped breathing. I guess for long enough that it was like, it was acknowledged and was yeah. a concern, but like, I don't well, I think, think it was like they actually I think stopping breathing for any amount of time is a concern. No, but I don't think it was like it was out of control. I think they right. could have very quickly brought me back around, but they, yeah, they, they, yeah, I stopped breathing, whatever. Um, and then they, had, they had obviously whatever. let go of me because it was like, they wanted me to be as relaxed as possible because it was like, I guess your calf is like pulling your mm. foot. So um, it helped them, whatever, but they had like the, guys that were holding me had stepped back and the pain brought me back round. And so I then just sat up and I'm like screaming at the guy like, do it! Like, and he's like pulling it. And like literally my foot just goes boing back into place. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we like, we had knocks after. I was like, yeah, cause it was like instant relief, man. Cause I think you like, you just don't yeah. realize like just hold it, holding your arm like this. Your muscles are so like pulling so tight for mm. that to happen. So when your foot gets twisted round in a way it's not used to, it's like you're stretching your muscle yeah. for so, and it had been like that for probably like four hours by that yeah, point. And I was in bad. so much agony that actually, when it went, oh sorry, hitting the mic. Um, when it went back, it just felt like Pressure's instant. Gone. Oh, it was like instant relief. Like, so yeah. Have you had any horrific injuries? <laughs> Two knee ops, that's about it. I think ACL now. reconstruction things or? ACL tear at ACL tear at twenty, and then this time was a meniscal debridement. And I'd say what a meniscal debridement. It's like a so I tore my meniscus, and all the cartilage was like loose in the joint of the knee, stopping my knee from bending properly. Mm -hmm. So they basically clean the joint out. Uh, but they've also noticed that I've like torn the cartilage off the bottom of my femur, so I'm now missing like a huge patch of cartilage. Is it better for you now? It's better now that I do all the other stuff like gym right. and like stopped running. Yeah. So did yeah. running fuck it up? It didn't, but he's basically said that, or well, the surgeon has basically said that the constant impact of my femur knocking bone on bone. Oof. Basically, I was just getting like a constant bone bruise. Mm. So when they like show you the MRI, you should have like a nice clean line around the outline of your bone. And basically at the bottom of my femur, it was just like white. Yeah. Which are basically just shown as like a, a bruise of the bone where the bone is basically just bled. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just was have to be mindful from, of like certain things. Yeah. Skating that, and stuff like that. Cause from 
too many flat bar combos and stuff like that. <laughs> this was probably like more like skating rails and stuff like that. And now I've got to do the the low impact stuff. Dude, at, at NAS though, your knee went. Oh, I sat on my knee, didn't I? Yeah, but it ballooned, sat on my leg. it ballooned so bad. Yeah. I couldn't believe how big your knee was after that. Probably shouldn't have skated something like that. Like Yeah, NAS. Nah. Two, three months after. Yeah, having that was pretty. What post surgery? That was like the heaviest yeah. you tested it at that point, wasn't it? And it was like. Yeah. But what did you get? You still. Fifth. You still, fifth. still came fifth, and like you should have seen the size of his knee. It was sick. Four hundred quid was worth it. Bang in, bang in. Couple of G's. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon that injury came around because you were skating like Shelto DC shoes? <laughs> Do you know what, right? Those Shoto DCs are really, really good. Are you getting DC stuff? No, not not anymore. Oh, you should do. Are you not? No. What happened? I just, just haven't been given anything for a while. And I'm not like, I don't like that whole asking thing. Yeah, yeah. No, you need like, to ask. Got yeah, ask. I know, but... I've got that mentality. You got to I, uh, as well ask. I, just I wouldn't feel be doing like half the stuff I'm doing now if I didn't ask. Dick. But then... 433 and F1 Arcade both came about for me because I asked it. But probably would have yeah. happened otherwise. I just, oh, I don't know. I think it just feels so in me not to do it. Yeah, yeah. But then if you like, know. I, I feel like if someone wants to give me something, they'd do it off their own back rather than. Yeah, but sometimes you've got, the, you've got to join the dots for people sometimes. Yeah, but then I'm also like, <coughs> I don't mind paying for stuff. It's not like the worst no, thing. Delete that I mean. bit. <laughs> delete that. <laughs> um, and you're getting workshop boards, are boards? No. Not nah, things, not anymore. What? What happened there? So, um, our good friend Joe Habgood yeah. was basically, he helped me out with some stuff through Shiner before. Yeah. Um, just sort of one-offs and stuff like that. And then before we went out to LA, um, he was trying to hit up some people about sorting me out some boards before we went out. And um, he had the guys at 1976. Yeah. And um, yeah, literally sent me a package of boards um, and then they been sending me some slappy trucks in between as well. Mm. Um, I did actually this time mention about getting boards, but yeah, it just sort of like apparently their flow program's a bit weird, yeah. and yeah, he just keeps sending me trucks now, so it's not too bad. I so you just you're on sappy trucks. I wouldn't say flow. that. I reckon just like flow trying them out, kind of. You John's really bad at hustling like for need, himself. It sounds like you try out one set of trucks if you continually get them. <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> like I out. tried out the first set. Uh, the last couple of months and then I'm not, I I've asked just for been trying them out for 10 years or I mentioned that I liked them but I was getting like the invert kingpins and the bolts were loosening oh shit so I invert said about just sending me some normal hollows and then whilst I was away they sent me some of those so um, but yeah. no boards no no boards fucking hell no boards no shoes <laughs> oh so you're optionally buying those DCs I was yes out of everything else on the market yeah but do you know what right I had this problem whilst I was away in that like looking at skate shoes now Everything's just got really shit, chunky. Really shit, and the ones you actually want to wear is like, like I don't know, not to chat shit on shoe companies, but like let's chat shit on yeah, shoe no chat companies. Shit away. No, but like <laughs> these but are the best like shoes what, I've had in a what, long time. What's, 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 what's a staple of Clarks. like Vans? <laughs> like like uh, what's Vans <laughs> staple skate shoe now? Like where has signature shoes gone? Like before you had. I think like, Vans has dropped off a little bit. The quality yeah. of them doesn't seem to be all there anymore. But like Nike are just forcing out like Save that for Vaughan Baker. random ones. Like don't be wrong, like the Blazers, your staples are like decent. Um, and because I was used to skating DCs when I was getting given them a little bit more frequently, I just got used to them. And then if it's not broken, don't mm -hmm. fix it. Have you skated Lathai's too? No. You don't, you don't, not for to. a long time. Smithy, Smithy, long time. Smithy sends me the Manchester's, and I used to skate them when Fully Flared came out. And like going back to them now, it's absolutely wicked. It's like, uh, I, yeah. I just want to say that I like all shoe brands. No, you don't. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I, I like the look of all shoe, shoe brands. brands. I bet a load of them skate good. And to be fair, like even buying shoes, I'm still probably going for a pair of shoes a month, probably by choice when I like change a board or whatever. But yeah, I. I suppose I just probably haven't ventured out and tried much other stuff, but you can only go by what you see. And like the catalogs definitely seem way more reduced now than what they were before. Mm. Maybe like pre COVID. And you kind of, cuts. I don't know, I guess it might be similar for you, but you stick to what you know, don't you? Well, yeah. Like I'm a little bit OCD with stuff. Um, 
little bit. A little bit. Yeah, 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 a little nah. bit. That, that screams that you've got. Yeah, oh, but like he's so 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 what are some of your weirdest things, John. Like you're so particular with things. I like everything. <laughs> <laughs> you have like, some real like real nitty things that you're like hot on. Yeah. Same bolts on a skateboard have to go in the same bolt holes every time. Same nut on the same bolt. Uh, it's pretty deep. Yeah, but the thing is, it's like, it's what comes out of it, like thinking that you're not going to be able to do what, like thinking that you can't, I'm not going to be able to do like a nolly crook because I've swapped the nut like, from I'd, the bolt. I hate to break it to you, but I think with your level of ability, putting the bolts in the different holes. Hey, yeah, but make it it's, you the, can do the those nolly crooks. The, what's programmed in your brain is so... Mm. Spend, spending a couple of weeks with you, like, intense, though, is really funny because you do just start to pick up on these little things that John's, yeah, like... I mean, just, like, living with John for a if fortnight. It, if it works for you, then it works for you, doesn't it? Dude, it's not... Like, it used to be way, way crazier. Like... Yeah. Have you always had it? I don't think I have. I... Well, I... Nah. Speaking to my mum, she seems to think that I always had. Yeah. But then I noticed it getting worse when I sort of, like, was around 17, 18. Um... And I was living with my dad and we were basically like, he was, he's a truck driver, so he was away all week. So I was like religiously cleaning and doing stuff like that. And I think that probably made it worse. Yeah. And then it was sort of like, if I didn't follow routines, I thought bad things were going to happen. And it's, yeah, it just sort of like. I think it's quite common. You know, a lot of people have it. It's just sometimes. I had the same thing for years. Went yeah. to therapy for it for like well over a year. Yeah. Yeah. Have you tried therapy? Think, you definitely need it. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, just imagine being able to set up a board and don't give a fuck where that truck bolt came no, from. I think also, it, does it, does think it you bother you? It, is it, do you does know it what, actually right? wind you up at all? If it I doesn't affect your life in a negative way, I find the no, perks no, nothing like, wrong with it. really outweigh the, the cons. Like, like with my work, organisation, yeah. stuff oh, like were, that. You were saying about that because... Like, you work with like wood, right? Yeah. And you're like you're saying anyone comes and like messes with your bench, you're like, but. dude, I've literally just spent a week away from work and they've just completely trashed this order of this job that's been worked on, and it's literally just like we had it running so smooth. But then I enjoy the fact of getting it back to where it was, yeah. and things working well. Don't get me wrong, I have complete admiration for people who can live in that chaos, and it must be so free. But then, obviously, I don't know any better. Yeah, and no, I can I kind of he... I can kind of deal with like, God, if I if I don't do that, then or like walking away from something and having to go back to correct it, hmm. the perks still outweigh having to do that. Mm -hmm. Do you ever do the thing like where you have to check the ovens off and lock all the doors before you leave? Yeah, I mean I do the that. Door I, had, bad. I, had, I, had, I had that really bad where everything was off, like everything was locked. All plugs were taken out the wall unless they weren't necessary, like a fridge and a freezer. Yeah. And then eventually I just... So, much of, it, so much of it's like routine. So if I, I can and grasp a new routine can kind of be kind of quick. So like I might turn up at a park or something like that and I'll warm up in a certain way. And I might have a good skate and I'll be like, oh God, it's the warm up routine that's done that. Mm -hmm. So each time then I've got like a little warm up routine and I'm following the same warm up routine. But then for whatever reason, it might not go well. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to mix it up slightly. And you, it's just like living with that routine. But yeah. it's, I don't know, is it being bad until I speak to people and they're like, you see people's facial expressions <laughs> and they're a bit like, well, you're fucking lost the plot. But then for me, it's actually quite like, it's like an achievement almost when you follow through with those sort of like routines. Mm. It sounds and then like it's it works. like trying to ra rationalize everything, right? You do rationalize where you're, everything. Where you're like, you haven't just had a good skate. There's a reason why you've had a good skate or a bad skate. Yeah. So like, what might that be? And you're trying to, then you're picking up things that you've done differently or like whatever. We, we spoke about it before about like skating rails and stuff and like breaking down. And I find it even with skating, it like, it helps me like break down doing things, mm. like doing tricks. Logically in my brain, I'm then constantly looking at like, it's almost like a maths equation that you're putting like one and one together to get two. Whereas like mm. chaos is like, well, just whatever. But everything has like a way of it working out and it's just finding that solution. And I kind of like it. It's like a problem solving all the time. It's got way sick. deeper than I thought we were going to get. So <laughs> this, this, it's uh, proper sick. Yeah, I, I no, really no, really It's like interesting, it. isn't it? I mean, you know, everyone's got their little mental ticks and stuff but yeah it, i think skateboarding attracts people with yeah that, second brains 
I think the only other, the one problem you get sometimes is like, you sometimes look at things very black and white. Mm. So like, James might think that I'm a bit of a hater sometimes. <laughs> but like, if you start to, or if you kind of dislike something, or you feel like someone's sort of like, bad mouthed you, you kind of like, put it up, put it up a little bit more, and you kind of like, even more like, shut off from it. Yeah. You, you're then like, right, I'm going to distance myself as far away from it as possible. Mm. Um, Do you find it hard to let things like wash over then in that sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. So are you going to be annoyed at me for life because I've insulted your DC shoes? Nah, nah, that doesn't, it doesn't bother oh, me. Oh, thank God. Because <laughs> I've had those shoes as well and they're actually quite good. Not the high top ones though. <sighs> That's a different level of psychopath. <laughs> right, so Toby's got here, meeting the queen. Did she smell nice? Was she a lizard? Yeah, man. Well, like, where do you want me to begin with that? Because I kind of feel like... How did it first come about? That How did it all come about? Big? What was the um, lead up to it? So I literally had a letter come through the door, like an envelope come through the door that I was like had stepped over at first because I thought it might have been like one of those voting things or whatever because it had like, I think it was cabinet officer. Then you fucking top. hate voting, don't you? <laughs> You've I, never voted. I was like, nah, I'll, I'll pick that up later. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was like, it said cabinet officer. And then I was like, no, actually it really doesn't look like that. So later on, I like I picked it up and I opened it up and it literally like cut to the chase straight away. It was like, dear James Twelfth or whatever, like um, we basically would like to give you an MBE. And I'm like, like what? Because you, you don't know that this has happened. Like you're not meant to know who's like nominated you and you can't nominate yourself. So I had no, I had no idea. I had no idea that this was coming. So I was like, yeah, it was just, just really trippy, man. Um, but yeah, it was all for just like, it was a real like amalgamation of things. So it's like- How do talks. you vote for someone to get an MBE? I think you can just like apply, but you have to give, I found out like in like afterwards, you have to give a lot of stuff. Cause it basically it was all through, like I mentioned earlier, the contest that I was hosting. So I set that up and that ran for, I think like 12 years. Um, but it was like a contest series around Wiltshire, but people would come from all over for it. Cause I guess there wasn't like a real like amateur contest series that you could get stuck into. Um, especially not around our area anywhere. Like a lot of the stuff when I was like 13, I would look at stuff and it was like UK champs and you know, War of the Roses, War of the Thistles, stuff like that. It was like, you know, it's all of this kind of stuff where it's like, you know, legit contests. Yeah. And it's like, man, I can't even like kickflip yet. I just want something that is fun that I can get involved in and come last, you know what I mean? Um, and not be wildly out of place. So set that up. And actually we ended up with like a real cool mixture of like people, like Adam Keats used to come to that all the time. Um, like some real, real good skaters would come through. But then we'd also have little Billy, who's eight years old, picking up a board. He's How's he doing now? Two months. He's pro actually. Yeah. Is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, killing it. Um, but yeah, so we had that mix going on. Um, that was like, we'd do like four Hold parts on. a year. No. Have you ever watched Toby drink no, from this? Oh no, is this where you put it under your leg? It goes like this. I put it no, because this is too big for my It goes mouth. like that, don't you, Fraser? Oh, fuck. So, like, no, no, do it. Carry on. <laughs> but yeah, so we it was like, it would be like four parks a year and it would work as a tournament. So you'd like keep the, you'd have the points going throughout. And like, we had like um, Red Bull back in it and stuff at some point. So you're like... He's, he's, he's switched off. He's he just um, wants to fuck about now. He's like, I'm not. I'm just laughing you know, at the image of you. Every drinking. every classroom across every school in the country, there was always a naughty boy there who just wanted to fuck about. And that is Ford. that's Ford. I'll finish the story. It was like that, there was that contest story. Uh, it was a contest series. Sorry that I'd been running. There was like a few skate parks that I'd been a part of getting built so it's like raised a load of money got the parks built kind of worked on the projects for those and then there was also the mental health stuff in skating that i've been doing with calm um so all of that kind of like was thrown into mm. into the mix um and what does mbe stand for member of the british empire fucking hell bigger than that you are of the most such a great the guy. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Hilarious. There we go. And, and um, the people that You look can't get one of those. The people <laughs> that is, it, it, I'll, I'll get one in my lifetime. Fucking Get it. And then the it. people that are looking over your applications are just little old dotty who's 80 years I have, old. Dude, I have no idea who like, looks, looks over it. But yeah, like basically I found out that it was one of the guys that had like, there's a, so my local park we raised quarter of a mil for like, it was, yeah, me Cup, and this. Not a couple of G's. Not a couple it's of. It's basically decided by uh, uh, an elected group of civilians. There we go. An electric group of civilians. An electric um, group of an civilians. An electric 
Um, electric six, do you remember those guys? Why don't you have some um, water? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah so I found out it was one of the guys that I'd worked with on getting one of the parks built and he was obviously aware of everything else I was doing that's nice he's then spoken to my parents and was like I want to nominate James but we need like a load of evidence basically and my mum was like got you because she had all the was new- this Matt? no 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 it was um, it was actually he's like a local councillor oh, yeah. um, but yeah so it was me and him basically that got this like 250k for the local park and then he'd found out more about what i'd done and um yeah my parents had basically got all of like these newspaper cuttings and all that stuff they they had like a bit of a sad shrine that the parents do it was a good shrine. are you an only child um, nah how many of them three how many of them are there <laughs> Three more. Three. No, there's two more. There's three. I'm the youngest. Right. The nice. Youngest. Me too. Yeah. Good work. Three of us. Youngest. They, um, All brothers. Oh no, nah, I've got a sister. Nice. Sister, you got a sister and a brother. Have they <laughs> nice. got? Nice. Well, they... I ain't got any sisters, so I don't know what that would be like. <laughs> have they got MBEs? You're an only no, child, they don't. aren't you? No, I got a brother. Oh, you give off like green flag and uh, like only child. <laughs> green flag. Yeah, like beige Red flag, fl- green flag, only child. Red I don't flag. know what that is. You, have you heard the about flag it? You know people, nah. Yeah, you know people like, now saying like, so Toby, yeah. Toby, a red flag for Toby would be like, he's very abusive. You're not, I'm just saying there's a red flag. <laughs> Bro, for example, anything like, that's bad. But his beige flag is that he's always got like a bit of an icky, uh, icky tummy. Or he's not here right. <laughs> or like, he's always a bit tired or... I'm so be- tired. to be fair, I'm he did have that Greg's pizza and he was like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah like beige, beige, beige flag is something that's kind of just like small, funny, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Beige flag, DC shoes. Anyway, <laughs> so you met the Queen. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so, uh, like, yeah, basically got through that I was going to go to Windsor. And, like, yeah, we got, you don't know until you get there who you've, who's going to be awarding it. But we're like, all right, Windsor's a bit of a giveaway. It's where she lives or did live. Um, like, you know. Yeah, it's, not anymore. It's, it's surely, like, that's what it's going to be. Um, and, yeah, when we got there, the flag was up, which means that the Queen... Is in, she's home. Um, Did and your then, research? Yeah, well, no, my parents were telling me this. <laughs> oh, well. My parents were telling me this, yeah. Are they big royalists? Like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe. Did you get that? I don't know, oh. I don't know what he said. I was trying to, I was trying to scare it. Lean, it leaned into me and you went, when you said the flag was up, he's like, so he's talking about having an erection, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Always. Oh, the flag was up for Always. the queen. Always. Anyway, um, so the flag was up. The flag was you up. Didn't, you didn't have an erection. <laughs> Always a good start. Always a good start. Flag up Especially for when in the, in the presence of exactly. Her Majesty. Exactly, that would have been highly She doesn't like boners. Huh? Did you get... No, it didn't. What? Why? Would that be weird? What, getting a boner? What? Would that <laughs> be weird? <laughs> what, yeah. In front of the like queen? a nervous erection. How often does this happen to you? Like Every when day. you really, really shouldn't get an erection, then maybe you would. <laughs> I could get in trouble for this shit. No, you can't. Uh, you how? Know? How sure. are they going to see this? We're Mate, they all watch it. She's dead. <laughs> no, the family. <laughs> what was, I was like, Did we both say that at the same time? <laughs> Oh, she, she, even if she was alive, she's not going to watch this rubbish. Nah, she, she was well into skating. Um, anyway, did tell she us know about, anything about skating? Nah. How was, did the conversation go down? Tell us about it, James. Um, she was it's like, yeah, well, like, well, cool. Well, cool. So I went up, because I was 25 when I got it. So I was like the youngest person there by quite quite a bit. And um, yeah, she was just like immediately asking about skating. Um, and she was like, is it a good thing for like kids to do? Like, said, no, it's worse than no, marijuana. No, what's Baker 2G? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a gateway drug. I didn't go in with that. I didn't go in with that. But she... Um, yeah, we, it was really cool, man. We just said, we had quite like a long chat about it. And she was like, I want you to speak in parliament about skateboarding. And she was like, there's a guy that was here earlier who I'd actually already weirdly spoken to of like the 70 people that were there. He was like one of the five I'd spoken to. He reports to government on like exercise and stuff. So like, yeah, literally giving them data on what people were doing and stuff. And yeah, she was Everybody's like- Everybody's fat. <laughs> <laughs> she no, was, no one has a hobby. Yeah. She was like, yeah, football fans. Everyone's a football fan. No one is playing football. You, so, shook, you shook her hand? Yeah. How did she feel? Sausage fingers? <laughs> Cold, like a little old very soft hands. Did she have scales? Because no, she's a lizard. Very soft hands. Right, okay. No did she scales. smell nice? I think, yeah. Did she, she smell her? She didn't smell bad. So Did you smell your hand after? No, it didn't actually. It was well cool. Like we walked around those bits like you obviously can't normally go into because it was like we needed to queue and it was like went through some rooms and we were like, this is mental. Any like, good skate spots in there? 
couple of stair sets, I think. Yeah, it's pretty elaborate. That so place, he spent quite it? a while with her then. It was. It like, wasn't just like a meet and greet, like "well done." No, it, w- it was probably only. It was like a few minutes. But like, did it, she? Uh, it felt a long time. It felt like did a she, long time. Has she left? No. That would be no, good. No, I did. So like, I slightly messed up though. So I was like, so they you didn't go call through. You did the C word, did you? <laughs> I didn't drop the sea banger. Yeah, no, I didn't would... give. It, I didn't drop the sea banger. No, um, no they um, they like tell you how you should like address her when you walk up. Like, shit, I hit the mic for the second time. I don't time. think she ever um, cared about that though. If you just like, oh, oh no, no, shit. no. So they go through all re- of that. So they and they go, oh yeah, you do like a neck bow, and they teach you how to neck bow, and then they say you can say these things to her. Like, this is how how you address her. You know, you can call her by these titles. And I walked up and I thought she was going to say something grand, like, James Threlfall, we're here to give you an MBE, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I walked up and she went, well done. And I went, cheers. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't know what to say, man. I was like, just came straight in with that. And I was like, oh man, like all of the things, like all the stuff in that back room went through, like what yeah. you're meant to say, how you're meant to pronounce it, like went out the window and she laughed, found that funny. And then we got straight down to chatting about skating, um, which is kind of trippy. Did like, she say, because was it Prince Philip that had a, Skated was it? Huh? It stuck well. You know that clip. Uh, no, I think it wasn't that. Who was wasn't that? that? Wasn't that Charles? I think well, it, it was. Either Char- yeah, I think it was Charles. Was it Charles? What an old clip though. Yeah. Yeah. Who's now the king? Right? Yeah. yeah. He's the king, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. I don't fucking keep up with him. Yeah. So there we go. So yeah, got a little medal. And so you got a medal. Got a medal and stuff. Have you is got that it framed? Where is your? Nah, why, why didn't you bring it and wear it on the show? Why didn't you bring your fucking medal? Should have brought it. Seems safekeeping. Hi, it's Toby here, your mum's favourite presenter for the Brain Drain Show. I'm here to talk to you about roller snakes, and I've got an absolutely fantastic double-digit discount code to give you. So stay tuned. Roller Snakes was founded in 1985 by Sir Paul Haynes, which makes it one of the UK's oldest skater-owned stores. Roller Snakes stocks all the shit-hot brands, including Adidas, Brixton, Carhartt, DC, Element, Independent, Levi's, New Balance, Palace, Polar, Santa Cruz, Spitfire, Thrasher, Volcom and Vans, and many, many more. At Roller Snakes, there is a free-to-use indoor skate park, indoor mini ramp, and outdoor skate park, which I designed, and it's really good, and everyone loves it, and if you don't, then you suck, don't come here. We also put on numerous events throughout the year where you can turn up for free and win loads of prizes. Roller Snakes have given us a discount code for Brain Drain listeners. Enter Brain Drain 10 at checkout for 10% off your next order. Minimum spend £30, terms and conditions apply. Go to rollersnakes.co.uk and buy all of your stuff and things immediately, if not sooner. That was me, your mum's new best friend. Tell your mum to stop texting me. Over and out. Goodbye. Just before we go any further, good morning. Welcome to the show. Joined to my left is Toby. We are joined by MBE James Ralfall and his mate John. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, thank you. Ford's, so, got really, so, Ford's got a really serious question. He wants I didn't to... write this one. Oh, Fuck here we go. He to- wants to ask you about this one. So Toby put... Wearing skinny jeans oh. in 2023. Because <laughs> you still wear quite slim dress. They're not. I don't think... They are that. tight. They are They're elasticated. Tight. They are elasticated. People have been so invested in how not baggy my trousers are. Yeah. And I feel like... I it's think it's because you're tall, though. Because I feel like they're not that... They're not that bad. Like, I feel like they're not that bad, that, that skinny. Those ones are actually just kind of a slim fit, but Do, you have worn. I always, yeah. So there was a time I was wearing slightly skinnier, but it's well funny how, like, triggered people were getting by the trousers I was wearing. Because everyone wears like they, fucking I don't big feel boys. like they were that offensive. Imagine, Do you know what I mean? Because you're that tall, wearing, like, some really overly baggy trousers. Well, no, this is it, because I've tried it. I've tried it, dude. It looks ridiculous, because I wear a T-shirt, and then it, like, goes out. What about Dickies? Just, like, Dickies work. I tried Dickies. I tried Dickies. Because they're just straight. I tried Dickies. We went and tried to pick some up in Cali, and they looked ridiculous on me, man. Can you you tell this is coming to an end, because Ford is just, like... Yeah, just fully wrapping this up. Is there Um, anything else either of you want to talk about? Um, I don't know. Not really. Um, All right, well, tune in for the any, next any, one. Anything, <laughs> anything we should be talking about? Anything we should throw in? Well, we just Anything on. you've got coming up, John? What were your first sponsors, John? We didn't even get round to asking. Yeah, we did. We were John, talking about getting... John's never asked for a sponsor, so he's never had one. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Do you know what, right? First time I did ever ask, I asked Nick they Howley to yeah? get onto Skate Farm. Yeah. And you got on. And I got and on. So maybe you should <laughs> ask more. And then you quit and went on hoax? <laughs> no, because well, I... Hoax is separate though, isn't it? So the hoax thing hoax I was asked. Clothing. Yeah, that was clothing. That's still a skate shop though, isn't it? They had a pop-up shop for the clothing. Still a skate shop. Though. But they're kind of on hold at the moment. 
Who owns Whilst they Hoax? Re- Rebrand. Is it so? Is, is, it, it's is it true? Some. So. It's oh, it's hundred percent true. Isn't somewhat it? funded by. Yeah, backdoor. By Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Yeah. 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 What's funded by Ed Sheeran? Hoax. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can, can we you, get Ed Sheeran on the right, show? Can I ask a fucking question here? Can we get Ed Sheeran on the show? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I why have would no Ed links. Sheeran, I have no links. Why would Ed Sheeran, Sheeran have anything to do with a skate? Because he's from Ipswich. Yeah. So he's <laughs> basically, he's and it's from been around that sort of area. And when it was around in its first incarnation, he used to go to the shop and buy stuff before he was big guy. Oh. Um, before he was Ed Sheeran. When he was just sort of like the bully ginger kid. Um, he used to bully ginger kid. So he used to skate at Framlingham Skate Park. Um, Did he skate? Yeah, he just, he skated he just made that place yeah. up. Framlingham. 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 He nah. sings about the castle at Framlingham. Fram- met- the castle song. That's that Framlingham Castle. That sounds as fake as bunting. For Have you met him? Because you should 100% try and get like a little skate with that in. For nah. some hoax promo. I mean, hasn't he got a well. nice big estate down your way? Yeah, so where they've just moved to, um, their new warehouse is literally on his sort of like... Um, Industrial estate where he's got mm. like his recording studio and stuff. Um, That's sick. Can you get him to send us a whole bunch of hoax socks? The hoax socks are good. Yeah. Right? Can you get him? Can you? Just, yeah. Do you I know, don't need... know what's happening at the minute because <coughs> last I heard from Jason, we're sort of like it's been put on hold for a little while till next year. It's not going to go anywhere though, is it? Not with Ed nah, Sheeran. I mean, him. apparently he's really sound though. Have you have you met him? Have you spoken to him at all? No. Nah. Because so there was um I did a podcast with Merkage Dave, who's like. He wicked artist, but does a lot with like Mike Skinner um, oh, okay. and stuff. Um, he used to book like club nights and stuff. He was promoting in London, and they were doing. He was booking like I think he was saying he was booking like Kano early doors and stuff. Mm. Um, but booked. Come on, Toby. I don't know. Um, he, booked, he booked anyway. Ed Sheeran. I've heard of him. Yeah. He's so he booked Ed Sheeran. Yeah, but he also he's a he has an amazing hip hop career. Um, yeah. But he um, he booked Ed Sheeran for a night. Hip-hop. Come on, I won't call it amazing either. Really yeah. <laughs> um, won't no. call it amazing. Um, but yeah, so Dave booked Ed Sheeran like I think he said maybe two or three times years ago. Um, and like, what's the festival that's down by you that's a bit quirky? Um, um, Latitude. Yeah, is it Latitude, latitude that's done yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Latitude. So everyone dresses up and stuff. Merkage Dave is playing a set at, at Latitude years later. Ed Sheeran's like world famous at this point. And um, yeah, someone comes up backstage, like security guard comes up backstage to Dave before he plays his set. And he's like, oh, Dave, someone, someone's here to see you. And Dave's like, who is it? He's like, oh, it's Ed. And like, Dave's like, who like Ed like what and this guy comes up in like one of he, I think he said it was like one of the bird masks with like the beak kind of thing that's the third time I've hit the mic um, with the beak type things and um, yeah he was like oh Dave it's, it's Ed Sheeran I just wanted to come and say like wicked to see you and, so, and he's like no he way. booked Ed so early and he's like how was Ed like remembered me and Ed apparently was like I saw your name on the lineup and I just wanted to come by and say like say good luck and, and he was like, in costume so yeah, no he was in costume knew. he was like I come here every year because no one knows I'm here oh amazing like, banging. so it's his local festival alright well now, now we, we know he's, he's, let's, he goes like, as a bird <laughs> yeah there we go Ed um, Sheeran bird man so yeah um, pretty cool though eh? pretty cool anyway so, can you get us some socks I can probably sort that yeah thanks eh? yeah. more than three pairs though I need a week's worth <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> Let's wrap this. Do you want to wrap it up? Fucking shit up. Can you do as like a closing wrapping up thing yeah. to the camera? Well, can, can you, you like? Any, can you do it as like thank a drop? John, anyone you want to shout? Uh, out? Sorry, who's the presenter here? I don't know. You just told me to wrap it up. No, to the camera. Any uh, anyone any. you want to thank to the camera? <laughs> <laughs> I don't maybe know. you could. Maybe you, you know. Could you could know. Never looked at just camera say no. down the eyes. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. And then Thank can you, you wrap Wait, up? no, you were looking at the fish eye. You weren't looking at Oh, shit. You got, can, oh, fucking, this is a right mess. <laughs> yeah. Can you rap, Can you do some like drum and bass freestyle MCing over the mic? Okay, can you beatbox for me? To wrap up the show. I don't know if I can beatbox. You've been watching the Brain Drain show, etc. <laughs> Smell you later or something. <laughs> No, I can't That's do it. I can't beatbox. Like a fucking <laughs> steam train. That's a load of shit, John. Um, <laughs> Look at the camera and just straight <laughs> sign us out. Come on, you, you um, got TV. You're, you're media trained. Come on. Uh, what, what do you want me to say? Just say, my name's J- uh, James Frelfall. <laughs> that was a really good execution of my name. Thank you. All right, my name's fucking arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then you say my name is, and then you say both in complete synchronicity, you've been watching the Brain Drain show. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Oh my God, I mean, that, this is fuck, this, this is harder than recite my fucking this wedding. Is, this is on you. Things. All right, ready? My name's James Threlfall. My name's John Owlett. And, and you've, you've been, been watching, watching the Brain, Brain Drain, Drain show. show. Thanks. That's, there we that's go. A cheap, oh. that's a the cheesiest oh. ending. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was the most intense moment.